All right. So last time we cleared chapter 10. Actually, I did to play the game because I lost my save data. So my score is a little bit a little bit different. I did uh, I did replay all of the puzzles I did. So yeah, game the game is uh, the same game but slightly different I guess. But it should be the same regardless. But anyway, let us uh, jump into our cases because we have uh, two of them to finish I believe. Because there should be twelve if I remember right. So yeah. Uh, case 11. Catel late on wanted. Chancellor Lane is buzzing. There has been a murder. And Cat is the prime suspect. Alright, let's go. Mm -hmm -hmm. Ah, the start of another lovely day. Ernest, pour us some tea, would you? Yes, miss. You seem to be in a rather gay mood. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's a good start. <laughs> that's that's the first time I ever saw anyone using gay mood for uh, <laughs> for a way to describe stuff gay. All right, I mean the meaning of gay is uh, happy mood, but I never saw anyone using it in a sentence. Ah, uh, yes, miss, you seem in a rather gay mood uh, this morning. Have you had some uh, good news or something? Oh, you notice. Know is it that obvious? I thought I was uh, managing to hide it quite well. Like a poker player, you know, you were... Uh, like a poker player, you know, you were humming, right? Loudly. Well, I popped into the Lucky Clover up the road yesterday. You know, the boutique owned by Miss Pierce. Anyway, I saw the most delightful hat, but I just couldn't decide if I should buy it or not. Life is hard, isn't it? Just so hard. She was just uh, about to close for the day, so I had to leave it. But I've been thinking about it all night. And in the end, you realize it was all a waste of time. And in the end, I decided I'm going to splash out and buy it. So it is time for a trip to the Lucky Clover. Ah. I was so hoping there would be more to it than a hat. Cheryl, worrying about hats is not a trifling matter. It is what an English gentlewoman does and should do. I'm very excited about it, miss. I'm sure you are going to look simply stunning in it. Thank you, Ernest. By the way, have either of you noticed there seems to be a bit of a commotion going on outside? I can hear a lot of voices, yes. Oh, there is a rather... Rather... There is rather a crowd gathering. I say, I wonder what is going on. Hmm, perhaps we should go and investigate. Perhaps. Oh, everyone seems to be gathering outside the Lucky Clover. And I don't see any tails wagging. It looks serious. I... I, I can't see. I wonder what is going on. Miss Layton, look. There is a policeman outside the shop. The police are on the scene. Some kind of incident must have taken place then. Yes, I dare say. Gosh. Let's go and ask some of the people miling around if they know anything. Um, excuse me. Sorry, lad. I am right in the throes here. Big news, this is. Very big news indeed. If this doesn't make the front page in the morning, I will be a monkey's uncle, of course. I've got to write the article first, but hang on. You are the lad from the Leighton Detective Agency. Yes, that's right. Um, whatever, whatever is going on here, Douglas? And Miss Leighton, crikey. Sorry? If I... Oh, dearie me, it is her. Miss Layton is here, look. It is her, the, the woman herself. Can, can it really be? Open bucket? Personally, I don't believe it. Close bucket. 
what have you done, cats? Everyone is practically jumping out of their skin at seeing you here. I know, I have no idea what's going on. I would just go and ask uh, one of the police officers. I don't think that would be necessary, Ernest. Someone is coming over, look. I, I don't believe I have ever seen him before, have you? Oh, this is a new person. Chief Inspector... Britannias. Well, Miss Catherine Leydon, I believe, of the Leydon Detective Agency. Y yes, that's me. I don't believe we've met. Britannias is the name. Chief Inspector Britannias. I am from the Scotland Yard. Oh, well, pleased to meet you, Chief Inspector. Uh, there's quite a crowd here, isn't there? Uh, what happened? Don't speak to me, please. It is against protocol to converse with sp suspects. Suspects? No, 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 I am... Cartier Layton. I'm arresting you on suspicion of... Perverting... Perverting? Perverting the course of justice and... No, you, you can't arrest me, Layton. The Pound? For cat? Just a moment, please, Chief Inspector. What am I even accused of doing? Why why are you arresting me? Uh, please. You are a suspect or for the murder of Clover Pies. Propietress of the Lucky Clover. Miss Price? The Lucky Clover? Murder? Murder? Case 11. Katria Layton wanted. Alright, that's an interesting uh, beginning to the chapter. Hmm. You mean Miss Price has been killed? Impressive acting, love. But, I don't, but don't you think you are rather overplaying it? I know you did it. I... I didn't know anything about this until just now. Oh really? Well, perhaps this little... Resis will jog some memories for you. This morning, it was reported that the poor Tess of the Lucky Clover, Miss Clover Pies, was lying motionless on the floor of her boutique. Police rushed to the scene, but the victim was already dead. I... I don't believe it. Poor Miss Price. We managed to pinpoint pinpoint the time of death as yesterday evening. And according to witnesses, you, Miss Layton, were seen entering the shop at the exact same time. So darling, what more can I tell you? Obviously it was you. Well, I did go to the Lucky Clover yesterday. You are right. I was thinking about buying one of the hats in there. But Miss Price was perfectly fine when I left. You can carry on lying to me down at the yard. Constable, take the suspect in. Yes, sir, Chief Inspector Sir. Miss Layton, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to accompany me to the station. No, Miss Layton isn't a criminal. This is madness. Ernest is right. Please hear me out. Come quietly, please, miss. Otherwise, I regret to say I will have to cuff you. Gosh, they really are going to arrest you, miss. Cuff me? But, but I'm no killer. Sorry, miss, but I have to follow procedure in these matters. You are flogging a dead dog, Kurt. They are not going to listen. This must be the scoop of the century. The esteemed detective, Catriel Lighton, accused of murder, and I thought nothing could surprise me. It looks like they are determined to determined to pin this on me. Alright everyone, stand aside please. Britianas, what the dickens is going on here? Well, 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 what a surprise. Not. I thought you would be making an entrance before long, Hastings. C come on, w what evidence have you got that she did it? 
I was expecting you to protest their innocence. Seeing as how she solves the majority of your cases for you. I'm not protesting anything. All I'm asking is, what proof have you got that Cat is the killer? Oh, I will get proof, Hastings. Just as soon as I get her in the sweat box back at the yard. That's not a wall. That, that's not wanted. And you know it. What is with the strong arm tactics, eh? Oh, I can't hear you. It must be because I'm in charge of this investigation, not you. You might be in charge, but I'm going. I'm not going to sit back and let you get away with coercing a suspect. Coercing, coercing, I uh, Looks like there is a bit of a dogfight going on among the pigs. I have a nasty feeling that if I let the Chief Inspector Pitianas arrest me, I'll be on a one-way trip to jail. So I think I'm just going to make my excuses. Bye-bye. <laughs> and where are you going, darling? Not trying to skip town, are we? Oh, buddy. I, I, I will distract the miss. Run while you can. Thank, thank you, Ernest. You are a lifesaver. Or you miss anytime. So, Chief Inspector, but I can't let you pass me. You? You are trying to protect her. You are trying to protect her? Are you? Hmm, I don't think so. Sorry, I won't budge. I, I, I can't get around him, sir. Katria Layton, stop right there. Sorry, I have, I've forgotten how. Where are you even going, Kiat? No idea. Eh? Basically, as far away from here as possible. But uh, the end of, but the the end of Chancellor Chancellor Street will do for now. Come on, Shell, get those legs walking. So now we are on the run. Huh. Alright, so let us see what we have here. Like, I know I'm supposed to like run away and whatever, but... There are hidden puzzles. Look, Shell, there is a puzzle hiding here. You should be the one hiding from the police, remember? Oh, but I can't leave a puzzle unsolved. It is not what a gentleman does. And running from the police is fine, alright. Let's give it a go. But we really should be fleeing. Alright, there we go. Time for some puzzles. Fantastic. Using these three shapes, see if you can make four identical fan shapes. You can only move the squares. Move them by sliding and touching the to rotate it. The fan shape is made by joining the radius of a circle with an arc to a second radius. Huh? <laughs> joining the radius of a circle with an arc to an, a second radius. Okay. Well, this is a fan shape. This is a fan shape. But we only have two this way. I need to make four fans. Four fans, four fans, four fans. And they need to be identical. Uh, wait, they're saying use these three shapes, so I assume the, this is the tilt shape. Which I can't move from. See if you can make four identical fan shapes. Ok. 
Okay. Can I make two fans? Wait, what? How? How is that light? I didn't do anything. You did it. Dividing the circle into balls, make them shift at the top, bottom, left, and right. Fantastic. Oh, oh, on the outside. Uh, I didn't realize I can use the outside. I, I just put it over there because I want to see what happens if I set the shape towards the, the side other than the upside up and down. Okay. I interesting. I didn't I didn't uh, do it on, do it on the purpose, but okay. How did you even manage to spawn that puzzle up there in the light? It is dazzling. Very kind of you to say, Shell. I always aim to dazzle. Alright. Is the okay, cool. Any other coins? Okay, I don't see any other coins, so let's say move on. Where do we go now? There is no time to stop uh, to, and to tip. There is no time to stop and tip. This is a race and we have to stay in the lead. I know, but I'm not used to being the one who is being chased. I'm usually the one doing the chasing. Ciao, Bella. A pleasure to see you again. Oh, hello. I didn't mean to listen, but you are being chased by the police. Go to Lipsky. They will help you, I'm sure. G good idea. We will head there that way. Don't let them catch you. I know you are not the killer. No one appreciates the fine food as you do. Don't commit such a crime. Um, thank you. Ciao, and be careful. God, my... <laughs> my Italian accent is terrible. Uh, lucky? That he likes you? Eh, hey, cat? Yes, all the eating here paid off. I never thought you... Your overactive appetite would be getting us out of trouble. Anyway, no time for yapping. Let's hightail to Lipsky's... Lips Lipsky's place. You're right, Shell. I can't afford to let them catch me. They think I'm a murderer. Alright, we got the first piece of the puzzle. Let's go. Murderer. Uh, of course, Cat is not the killer of Miss Clover Pies, the owner of the Lucky Clover. But who is? Who even said that she's dead? I actually find it very weird that she's dead. But we didn't see a body or anything, so... Seems a bit suspicious. I wish you could stop and get some breakfast. It takes a lot of calories to keep these four paws running, you know. Well, I could give you a puzzle to take your mind off it. How about this one? Let's go. Let's puzzle along. In the ruins. There is a sealed door in the ruins. There is a mechanism in place that will allow the door to open if the three sticks are played in the correct position. In the panels of the door, using the picture above the door as a hint. Place the three where they need to be. Slide the six to move them and touch to rotate. 
using the picture above the door as a hint. Monkey? Like this for breakfast. They don't call me Sherlock Holmes for nothing. You did it. The answer was monkey. The letters on the panel are lying on the side, just like the monkey in the picture. Well, it was a good, a good one, wasn't it? It was interesting. I will give it that. But it won't make me fat. Okay. That's a weird outlook regarding uh, this thing. Uh, this is just a wrong conversation. Very okay, nice, we got our coin. Okay, I think we are good on the hidden stuff. Let's have a chat. You won't believe what happened, best, the best, no, I, I mean the worst thing, a murder, right here on Chancellor Lane. Oh no, that's so scary. Don't worry, Bess, I'm here to protect you. I will keep you safe no matter what. Oh, Benji, my hero. I think I'm going to use my normal voice and just give, him, give each character a certain tone. Because uh, my throat uh, is not uh, the best right now. Since I haven't uh, spoken out uh, the past few days. So I think I'm just going to do that. I know you're not a murderer, senorita. I hope this all blows over soon and that beautiful smile returns to your face. But thank you. Ah, Miss Layton, good day. Who's there? What a surprise to see you here. Indeed, madame. One is informed that you are a suspect in a murder inquiry, madame. Most troubling. Oh, you've heard already? News double fast. Is that why you are here? To find out the latest? No, madame. Miss Wade dispatched me on an errand to acquire provisions. Murder is on a gregious charge, madame. One would like to express one's sympathies. One is in no doubt of your innocence. Thank you, Booster. I'm very. It is very sweet of you to say so. All right, cool. Let's uh, move on. Wish, wish. Well, we've made it uh, this far at least. Figuratives. How did we end up in this mess? Yeah, how, how did we end up in this mess? I tending to flee. One is a. Uh, I had needing to flee, like he's saying that he flees. One is bad enough. Oh look, Alex and Hans are about here. Let's ask them if they have any good ideas for us. Perhaps they will know how we can slip away from here unnoticed. Alright. Let's see if we have anything hidden. Okay, we got a coin, cool. The clock. Okay, nice. Uh huh. Oh, look, there is a puzzle inside the, this house of sweets. That's right, this is the perfect time for solving plenty puzzles. When the police are hunting you on suspicion of murder, perfect time. Well, we can't ignore a puzzle, whatever the situation. That's true, we can't ignore a puzzle.
Uh, five houses. Houses A, B, C, and E are lined up in a row. Then house D is built. The diagram shows the five houses viewed from the side. And you can see house D in the middle of, of houses C and E. The diagram also shows the distance between the houses. And you can see that there are 50 meters between houses C and D. How many meters are there between houses D and E? Wait, I'm confused. Uh, the outcome also shows the distance between the houses, and you can see that there is 50 meters between houses C and D. I... huh? So let me get it straight. Between A and B there is 10. Between B and C there is 10. But between C and D there is 50. However, between C and E there is 20? Huh? The diagram also shows the distance between the houses. And you can see the distance between the houses. And you can see that there are 50 meters, meters between houses C and D. The diagram shows five houses views from, viewed from the side. And you can see house D in the middle of houses C, D, C, C and E. This in the middle? Oh yeah, it goes C, D, E. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> well, okay. So wait, why? Why are they point pointing out that it is between C and E? It should be between C and E. The diagram shows the five houses viewed from the side, and you can see house D in the middle of houses C and E. The diagram also shows the distance between the houses, and you can see that there are 50 meters between houses C and D. Yeah, but am I am I going insane now? How is there a distance of fifty between C and D? Well, there is a distance of twenty between C and E. Something something is weird there. Something. Is written weird. There are 50 meters between houses C and D. Is 20 like a kilometer? Or some, some bullshit because this doesn't make sense. As far as like Matt goes, because 50 is bigger than 20. Last time I checked, and it seems like the, tw the 20 contains the 50. Uh, am I misunderstanding the information? The diagram, shows, the diagram shows the five houses viewed from the side, and you can see 
house D in the middle of C and E. The diagram also shows the distance between the houses, and you can see there are 50 meters between houses C and D. How many meters are there between houses D and E? So confused. Oh. <laughs> How do it's 50 and 20 at the same time? It doesn't make sense. Uh, is the distance between C and D from the phone direction? Because that's the only way it will make sense if, like, the houses add an extra distance. You can see that there is 50 meters between houses C and D. Yeah, I think I think that C and D, that we see with the 50, it has to be a front view. Because there is no way that we have two different numbers for the same set of uh, houses distance-wise. So I'm pretty sure this means that this is a front view, this is a side view. Okay, if this is a front view and this is a side view... Can I... Met out... The distance... Um... I can find the area. No, but it won't help me. Um... Hmm. I can find the area. Where am I finding them? I'm looking from the houses from the side, and this is the distance that I see. How can I create 50 meters from the other direction? If the houses are misaligned, or not, if they're like, like not right in front of each other, and then I look from above, theoretically they can be 50 meters apart. If, like one, if they are like further away from each other, they're not in one line, essentially. If that's the logic they are working with, how will that information help me? I know that this is 50. I know that this is 20. It still doesn't tell us anything about C, about D and E. We do know the distance of the outer house as it says. And so theoretically it could be 10, but it might be also a trap. If it's not a trap, then it should be 10. But in this case, if it's 10, then the area is 500. Okay, but how? But don't help me. Don't help me. Uh, hmm. As you can see, house D is in the middle of CNE. 
Okay, let's let's ignore the 50. I don't think that the 50 is there to confuse me. So we know that D is in the middle. And we know the distance between C and E is 20. So the distance should be 10. I think, I think the 50 is there to confuse me. Because I don't see the point in having it. I've seen how to solve this now. Not good, Catrina. Okay, Not so good. I am wrong. Bad luck. Think a little more carefully about the position of each house. Okay. Think a little bit about the position of each house. So they are saying that this is not 10. How many meters are there between D and E? And they are telling us that it's in the middle between it's in the middle. If it's in the middle, then theoretically, okay. I think what they are telling me is that they are diagonally from each other. So, like, C is 50 meters, but diagonally. So, that means it's like somewhere in the middle. And then E is like, keep going the distance all the way to whatever. So I think the distance between D and E should be 50 as well. Like I think the other information is basically useless, it should be 50. Mm, this should do it, I think. Okay. And that's okay. Done. That was a bit confusing. You did it. Houses D and E are the same distance apart as uh, are the same distance apart as houses C and D. House D is bigger than the other houses, but the set further back and looks about the same size due to perspective. All right, all right. There we go. Can we move on now? Even in a crisis, you have to find time to keep your mind sharp, Shell. Alright, so we did that. We looked at that. Anything else to look at? Alright, there we go. Okay, I think I'm good. I think I looked at everything else. Let's have a chat. Ah, detective, I hear news. Me and Bertie have been worried about you. You, a murderer? Police are saying this. I know. That's why I had to get away. But now we're on the run. No, yes. But we, we know you're not a, a ki killing woman. Thank you. It's so nice that people believe in me. We want to help you. The police are chasing her, Betsy. What is the best way for her to escape? Hmm. No, yes, I have an idea. If you can, if you can work it out. O okay, I, I, I guess I will work it out. Amazing breakout. Can you find your way to the maze to get from the starting point at the bottom left to the goal at the top right? You need to break through one section of wall. Slide the circle over the section of wall that you think needs to be destroyed. Huh? 
Can you find a way to the maze to get from the starting point but on the left? To the goal at the top right. You need to back to one section. Okay, I see. So basically there should be a pad but there is one warning to break somewhere. Alright, let's uh, throw the pathways and then decide what we are biking. Okay, so this is blocked off from all of these directions. And this is stopping here. Okay, so the break point is either around here, either, uh, okay. either around here, around here, or like around here somewhere. So let's see. Okay, it's not the lower path because we are stuck, so we're not doing that. Okay, so we need to go here. Yeah, that should uh, work out. Take this out, we can come here. Ta -ta -ta, ta -ta -ta. Ta -ta -ta, ta -ta -ta. Okay. A good puzzle is something you have to chew over. That was too easy. There we go. Alright. You did it. You found your way to the maze. This looks to be some kind this looks to be some some kind of treasure chamber. Okay. No, yes, uh, you, you try plan. I think police will not uh, catch you this way. But wait, your plan will not work. W why do you say this? Do you have a better idea? Hmm? You are always being the smart, Alex. Uh oh, they will start burying their teeth before long. If detective wants to escape from police, this is the better way. More evidence about evading the law. Oh, apparently we have two puzzles, okay. Amazing Breakout 2. Uh, can you find your way? You need to break through two sections of wall. Okay, well, we can play this. When you can break that. Like this, come here. Like that. Yeah, that should work. A good puzzle is something you have to chew over. That was too easy. You did it. You found your way to the maze. If a maze is so tricky that you have to destroy walls to reach the end, it must surely be hiding some extremely valuable treasure. Alright, that's a very weird puzzle, but okay. No, yes, you solve a puzzle, you see? This is a good way to escape from police. Wait, buddy, your way is not working either. Hmm, what must she do then? How does she stop police from catching her? Maybe we need a completely new idea. Not running away, something else. Hmm, new idea, hmm. Ah yes, I have an answer. What what are you thinking, Bertsy? We are detective and dog in shop. In place police do not look. Hiding us, but well. In here, what do you think? In there, really? I don't know. A cat and a dog in such Close proximity. There's no time for arguing. In in in. Alright, alright. Come on, Chelm. Oh, man. Hello, hello, hello. What we have we here? Two likely lads. Haven't seen a certain Catriel Layton by any chance, have you? Detective from agency down the street. Uh, no, yes. No, yes. Are you taking the Michael, sir? Come on, spit it out. Where is she? She came to shop and exited to back entrance. She went out to the back. Lads. Ah, oh, lads, out of the back. After all. 
Good. Stupid police are gone. Detective and dog, you can come out now. They were inside the bell. Oh. Phew, that was a real struggle. So, inside of giant teddy bear was too small for you, I think. I remember when I made this teddy, bear cake. There is a big space inside, but not big enough. Oh, it wasn't too bad, space-wise. It was uh, just a, such a struggle not to eat any of it. It smells so good. I really thought she was going to start nibbling at any moment. Alex, Hans, thank you both so much. You've really thrown the police off the scent. It was nothing. I'm happy my giant teddy bear cake is useful for something. I still cannot believe Clover Pies was killed. It's a very sad day. She was a difficult woman sometimes. But I don't think people have a problem with her that make them kill her. No, I know I know what you mean. The same thought crossed my mind too. Who, who could have wanted the Miss Pies dead? No time to think of this now, detective. Police are all behind shop. Now is chance for you to escape. Yes, you are right. Thank you again. Bye. Alright, another piece. Killed out of spite. Hmm. The Lipsky brothers claim Price was a difficult woman, but not likely to have been killed by someone out of malice. Okay. Alright, so let's go back. Where to now, Killer Kitty? Cheryl, mm, well... Aha, I've got it. We head to the river. The Thomas? Yes. Uh, the, th the Thomas? Yeah, fishing at, uh, at a time like this. Great idea. Now look, there are police searching for me everywhere. If we don't use our heads, they will find me. That's why I'm suggesting the river. If we go on a boat, we can get far away from here in no time. A boat? That is actually a good idea. I know, I'm, I'm impressed with myself. C come along then, to the river. Alright, off we go. Man, I've re I'm really not uh, super used to speaking. It's getting harder. Uh, well, we've made it this far without being caught. The wharf is on the other side, over the bridge gate, quickly. Alright. Let us see what we've got here. Uh -huh. I found two coins or one coin. It's a bit uh, unfortunate. Okay, apparently this entire grass is like one object. This is out of the way. Yeah, okay, I don't, uh, don't see anything else. So let's uh, have a check here. Oh dear, why are you looking so miserable? Ah, I'm sick. Home sick. 
I just received a letter from my family in San Kyo. Oh, I, I see. No, I cannot let myself be unhappy. I am selling poponos. Poponos and unhappy are like oil and water. And I also have a, a new puzzle for you. It came with uh, the letter from my family. Try it. Show me how how walk your magic with the puzzle. How you walk your magic with the puzzle. Alright. Alright. Love triangles. How can we make the shape in the image by using equal literal triangles of any size? What will be the minimum number of triangles required? The middle part is what's tricky for me. Because like if I try to what's open now? Right over there. Uh minimum number okay. Yeah, the, the the information doesn't give us too much. So the thing is if I cut it here Then this we need to keep going like this, right? So then this shape is weird. And that's why what, what I'm struggling with, doing it in my head. Okay, I need to figure out the shape that will work in the middle as well. But I mean they can be overlapping, right? There isn't there isn't really a rule that Yeah, it doesn't say they can be overlapping. So how many triangles we will need minimum? So one, two, three, four, five, six. Right? Yeah, it should be six. Again, it depends if I'm allowed to overlap them or not. Mm, this should do it, I think. What's the matter with me today? Mm, okay. Try drawing the various lines and see what you come up with. Oh, 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 oh. I, I see what they, they mean now. So they, they allow, they allow overlapping, but not overlapping I was looking at. So the overlapping that they are looking at are these guys. So you make a triangle here, triangle here, triangle here, and then you have the big boy all the way across here. So that makes it four. I've seen how to solve this now. Puzzles okay. are made for solving. All right, I I see what you did there. You did it. You can imagine the small triangles. Uh, Cut parts out of the big triangle. This forms the shape in the original image. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. When I see you smiling because of the puzzle, it makes me smile too. I have to be happy to sell pop the poponos. Haha, <laughs> well, I'm glad I could uh, help. Good luck with uh, selling your lovely trinkets. Uh, can I ask, uh, do they sell well? Please don't ask me that question. In other words, no. But I'm not about to give up. One day the whole world will want to buy my poponos. There will be a popono. There, there will be a popono boom. I I hope for for your own sake that you're right, my friend. I hope for your own sake. Um, apparently something happened down Chancellor Lane this morning. Do you know anything about it? Um, no, not really. I just heard there was a big steer about something, but I don't know what. 
It sounds like the news hasn't spread this far yet, Shell. It will, though. It is just a matter of time. <clears throat> okay, that's actually good for us. Huh, huh. Finally, we, we made it. We can't breathe uh, a sigh of relief here, Shell. Look, there is a policeman over on the bridge. Gah. Do you think he's looking for us? I'm not sure. Let's uh, stay out of his sight and watch him for a while. We do have a dog, huh? Nice coins. Okay. Alright, found my coins. Is there something here a second ago? Okay. Doesn't look like we have anything hidden, per se. Or at least I don't see anything at the moment. So let's have a chat. Hey Hound, you're not in a good place, eh? I hear your owner is a killer. News tells us fast around here, doesn't it? But don't be led astray by everything you hear. For starters, Cat is not a killer. But more importantly, she is not my owner. Yeah, well, sorry if uh, I got the wrong end of the stick, uh, uh, the wrong stick hound. So, how is it all going to work out then, huh? You got a plan? We work something, something out, alright? I, I, I've got uh, to shake a, a paw now. See you later. Oh, I've got to shake a, a paw now. Sometimes I ignore the the punctions. I need to stop doing that. It's like a weird habit of mine to ignore punctions. Uh, let's see what happens if I click on him. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is he even blinking? If we try to cross the bridge, he will spot us instantly. No doubt, all the other bridges across the river are being patrolled as well. It looks like we are out of luck on that front. But if we can't use the bridges, how can we get to the other side? Hmm, how to get across without the police noticing? Aha! How about something like this? Show me what you got. A river crossing. Use sandbags as stepping stones to get across the river. The number represented the number represents the depth of the water, and you need a number of sandbags to cross that part of the river. What would the minimum number of sandbags you would need to cross from one side of the river to the other? You're not allowed to move diagonally. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, so the shortest route from here will be this, which is 13441, which means 8 plus 2, 10, 13. Alright, um, if we go straight away. It will be um, 4 plus 5, which is 9. It will be 11. So technically, this part is already shorter than this part. Alright. Because it's less moves. Uh, okay, so other side we have. 1, 2, 3, and 5, which is the same as this side. D. 
do we have any shorter bits? Two, four, four, one. Which is also 11. Right now, this is 11, this is 11, this is 11. This is... 7. This, this is 11, everything is 11. So as far as the straight line go, everything is 11. Alright, if I take this pathway then, it will be 5, 6, 7, 9. Okay, so we managed to cut it down by a few. 5, 6, 8, no, 10, 10 of 9, 10. So we managed to cut it by 1. Essential. Um, I think this is the shortest one I can take. Yeah, that seems to be like the shortest one, so I think 10, so it should be 10. Let's double check real quick. Uh, da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da it should be ten. I've seen how to solve this now. Oh, that's not like me. Okay, apparently I'm wrong. Bad luck. Try to walk out a wood that uses the fewest number of sandbags. I totally did. I thought I did. Alright, so let's think about it again. Obviously, taking less steps is better for me, which is why I just aimed for like making it a straight line. But that's not uh, the best option, apparently. Um, okay, we need, uh, we need a better way. Four, three, seven, nine. That's all we do. I. Um, my math is correct, right? Three plus two plus one is six. Six plus two is eight. Eight plus two is um, ten. Does it have much direction into course? Adapt of the water, and you can. Uh, what should be the new number of sandbags you would need uh, to cross from one side of the river to the other? Yeah. Okay, so I didn't. I, I can't like come from the left side and say like, oh, I'm going to land on the on the swan. Uh. Okay. It could be a trick question, and we can say zero, and we can just like jump across. Let's see, what did the text say again? Yeah, let's, let's, let's see if it's a question because I think it might be. I've seen how to solve this now. Okay. What's the matter with me today? Okay, so apparently it's, it's not a trick question. Hmm. 
seven. Now let's do I. Everything is too high. Um, everything is too high. There's no point going to the side when the novel is that high. Hmm. Alright, well, can't we actually reuse the sandbags? It could be that we can just reuse them. And in that case, won't it be three then? Not so maybe, maybe that's what they mean. Trying to like reuse the samples. This is an interesting one. Oh, okay, no. That's not like me. Okay, what if I need to add the number that I need the uh, for the next one as well then. So we put three sandbags over here. Then we move to the next one. Um what would be the best location? Two. Two will be the best location, which means that five should be the minimum number of sandbags. I've seen how to solve this now. Okay. And yeah. that's how it's done. You did it. By reusing the sandbags you used on sections 3 and 2, at uh, the beginning you were able to get all the way across the river. Although heaving the sandbags up from under the water has meant you look like a drowned cat. Yeah, I think it would be easier to just jump across. I think it will work here. This way, we will be able to get across to the other side of the river without anyone spotting us. Oh, it's the, it's, in, it's, it's, it's Inspector Hastings, look. So maybe that copper wouldn't have arrested us after all. I don't know. Let's listen to their conversation. Have you seen a room? No, sir. No signs of Miss Layton anywhere as of yet. Do you... do you think she really did it, sir? What are you talking about, Constable? Of course she didn't do it. Something is... something, something funny is going on here. Just think of all the cases we have uh, been scratching our heads about that she had helped uh, us solve, eh? Alright. Sometimes she plays the fool, but her heart is in the right place. She is not bent, I'm sure of that. My little lemon said it all and all. Cat doesn't uh, try to solve her cases. She's always thinking about what is the best for everyone involved. She's a rare gem, that woman. It is blindingly obvious, obvious she isn't a killer. Yes, sir. I think so too, sir. The thing is, Chief Inspector, Britannia's is completely convinced that she did it. I don't know what... Uh, he thinks he's playing it these days. To be honest, sir, I haven't seen much of him lately. You seem to have been in the limelight a lot more, Inspector Hastings. When I arrived at the scene to find him there, I was quite excited. But then it came to this. Pretty pass. I wonder if maybe, like... He killed her, or maybe like he, I mean, in the first place, we don't know if she's even dead. So I think he might be like uh, fabricating a case and like stitching us to it to get rid of us. Hmm. We used to enjoy a bit of friendly competition, Britian Britianis, 
the Dianos and uh, me, but I don't know what's going on in his head anymore. Anyway, the point is, as far as I'm concerned, Cat is innocent. Personally, I would like to bring her in and walk through it all. We would soon show she was innocent, I recall. I recall you know. But between Britannis, Britan, okay, let's 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 try to read that. Britan and Nias, Britannias, okay, Britannias. He's the investigating officer on this one, and the way he's banging on, I don't fancy get chances if she shows up at the yard. If only we could find her, I could warn her to stay away for now. Ah. Come on, Constable, let's look elsewhere. Yes, sir. Very good, sir. All Super Snitch has headed off. So, Inspector Hastings believes I'm not guilty. Well, you have worked on a lot of cases together now. He knows you as well as anyone. Well, well, well. A rare gem. Ha ha ha. Look at me, I'm blushing. We haven't got the time to sit here and watch your tail wag, cat. Let's get over the bridge. Oh yes, good point. We must hurry to the wolf. Alright. Uh, let's go. I don't have anything else to do. If I have some, if I have something, I will come back later. So it's fine. Uh, no sign of police around here. Yeah. So let's get to the wharf while the going is good. While the going is good. All right. Any loot? Two coins. Okay, I don't see any other star other than the fisherman. Oh, there we go. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, no, no idea where the last one is. Oh, even even if there is a last one. Okay, let's speak. Hmm. I've been seeing a lot of coppers about today. Hello again, Mr. Fisher. Do you happen to know what they are investigating? What they are investigating? Hmm, now you ask, I feel like I did hear something, or maybe didn't. Hmm. Yes, I think I didn't. A simple yes or no, that's all we are looking for. Wait, maybe I did hear something, yes. I might be able to fish it out from the depths of my memory. You never know. Give me a minute. Oh no, really, it's no problem. If you don't know, it really doesn't matter. It sounds like war doesn't reach these parts. These parts yet, Shell. It sounds like nothing reached his, his parts ever. Anyway, we're chasing our tail here. Let's get at the wolf. All right, let's uh, move on. Uh, 
Finally! Alright, we have made to the wharf. Now, we just need to find the boat. Without saying goodbye first, darling. Chief Inspector Britianas, what are you doing here? It is really simple, Catriel. Rather like your mind. I told the Chief Inspector you would definitely attempt to escape by a boat. Emiliana, how did you know though? I'm a professional profiler, you know. It was a simple matter of analyzing your behavioral patterns. It was obvious that you would try to think of a devious way to evade capture, a way to flee as far as possible, with the least effort, in other words, about. Don't forget that I have had the dubious pleasure of spending a lot of time in your company. I had plenty of data, I had plenty of data for my analysis. Well, excellent job, Emiliana. You've obviously been playing. You've been obviously been paying. Could not attention to the way I walk. Why does it say playing? To be paying. Hmm. I'm not. I'm not sure why you're so happy. You do realize what this means, I presume. Ah, yes, of course. Why? Why did you run away in the first place? You've successfully managed to imp implicate yourself by doing that. The chief inspector was already convinced that I was guilty. Well, as a colleague, let me give you some advice. Come back to the yard and turn yourself in. I appreciate the, wo your, the words of wis wisdom, Emiliana, but sorry. I'm not turning myself in. Vaben. I'd already deduced that that would be your answer. But it is futile to run. In any case, it would be better for everyone if you would come in and clear this up. Well, we won't know how futile it is unless I die. Alright, ladies. I think we have had enough of a chit chat, don't you? You're not getting away from me again, Miss Layton. Not a chance. Hmm, amazing. What people will do to advance their careers. What do you say, Profati? Nothing. What is your move, Cat? Good question. Hmm. I think we are in a pickle. Katria Layton, give up. I'm going to arrest you now. Sorry, I was never good at giving up. But there is no way out. Just like in this puzzle here. Alright, let's see what's up. In plain sight. You are out on the plains. Suddenly, you notice that you are surrounded by like three lions. They already have their eyes on you. However, for some reason, they won't attack. If two or more of them are at the same distance away from their prey, you need to use this to your advantage. So that you can make your escape. Find a route to the exit, moving one space at a time, uh, vertically, horizontally, horizontally, horizontal, as, I, I don't know, whatever, or uh, diagonally, okay. Uh, they already have their eyes on you, however, for some reason they won't take. If two or more of them... Oh, uh, the same distance from the play. Okay. Okay, I see. You need to use this to your advantage so that you can make your escape. Find a route to exit, moving one space at a time, a vertically or horizontally or diagonally. Okay, so I can't move the lions, I can only move this guy. Um, same distance. Uh, 
It'll still be the same distance. Uh... Okay, the question is what do I do now? I can go here, which still makes it the same distance. If I go up, it would be one, two, three. One, two, three. So I guess it's technically still the same distance. Then once I do that, I'm not the same distance. Okay, so if I am if I'm over here, I'm in the same distance from the guy to the right and the guy to the left. But I'm very close to the guy in the middle. Now the question is whether I'm allowed to do that. So like two are the same distance, but one of them isn't the same distance. The question is whether I'm allowed to use it to my advantage. So like right now would be one to three. No, hold on, I have an idea. Okay, so right now I'm two away, two away. Now... I move here. I'm very close to this land, but the other two... One, two... One, two, three, one, two, three. No, I, I missed that. Missed my location. I need to. I need to. I need to, Okay. I think I'm correct, but I need to fix it a bit. Okay, so now I'm three away and three away. So I think that might work. I've seen how to solve this now. Not good, Catriel, not good. It was good. correct up until the two one area over there. But it seems correct. Hmm. Like that. Okay. Okay. This is an interesting one. And that's how it's done. I wonder why this worked but the other one didn't, because the lion right next to the door 
is technically close to me. You did it your safe, what are the Hmm. One, yeah, it was like one, two, distance. Oh, no, that's a, that's a weird one. You, you found the solution, but your back is against the wall. You should be floundering. Sorry, I didn't. Sorry, I did say I wasn't good at giving up, didn't I? Bye! Stop, Katria, later on, stop! Run, Cheryl, run! Where are you going? The boats are on the other side. We can't get away on a boat now. The police will be waiting for us. We have to give up on the idea. On that, on that idea. Let's head to Borrowing Hill instead. Borrowing Hill? I think I would rather let the cops get us. It'll be fine. And all the narrow little streets will help us evade capture. Even if the police follow us, it'll be much easier for us to hide somewhere. Alright. Then if you say so... What are you all standing there for, after all? I will offer a handsome reward for the first one to catch her. Yes, sir. Very well, sir. Wait, a police officer? Offering a reward? That seems strange. There is no need to panic, Chief Inspector. But we are there. She was within our grasp. And she slipped away. Don't worry, just leave it to me. I have a good idea of where Catriel will be, will be going next. Rather than chasing her blindly, let's add her. Uh, let's add her off. That's far more effective plan. Hmm, yes, I like uh, the cheeky way you think, Profetti. So where is that murderer running to? Oh, it's quite simple. Catriel will try to hide in. Let's go on. Tears for success. Chief Inspector Britianas is desperately pursuing Kat. According to Meliana, he is driven by a powerful desire to succeed. Yeah, I don't trust this guy. Alright, so let's see what we have here. Ah, look, there is something coming out of the uh, boat funnel. Smoke? I mean, it is just a guess, but... Yes, there is smoke, but there is also a puzzle in there too. Perhaps we should give it a try. Perhaps. Alright, let's see. Mixed sing signals. Place the pieces inside the frame to show how strong the signal is. The signal is strongest in the top frame. There are six pieces to fit inside the three frames. Slide the pieces to move them and touch them to rotate. The pieces cannot be placed on top of each other and they cannot stick out from the frame. Okay, so no, no placing on top of each other and no, no outside of the frame setup. What does it need to look like? To show how strong the signal is. The signal is strongest in the top frame. to show a signal. <laughs> Thank you. 
not entirely sure I understand. There are six pieces to fit inside the three frames. Slide pieces to move them or touch them to rotate. Okay, so from what I understand, I need to put more than one piece inside the frame. And it's supposed to like represent a frame in some sort of manner. Okay. For this to go together, Okay, so I managed to make them fit together. Uh, okay. Sure what I'm trying to show you. Okay. Um. What am I going to do here? Am I like making make, making some some sort of like a shape or something? Okay. Look, this is one bar, this is two bar. And then this is three bars. Is that incorrect? Or might we need to show it on the no one side? Okay. 
Uh, okay. Should do it, I think. Puzzles are made for solving. Yep, puzzles are made for solving. You did it. The bars show the signal strand. The number of bar and kisses in the upper box. In the upper boxes. Ahem, ahem. Ah, it's so smoky. I'm glad we don't have to spend any more time on that puzzle. Ahem, ahem. So am I. My coat is going to stink for weeks. Alright. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, where is my glass coin? This is just a lot of information. Let's uh, have a chat. One minute the place is calling with Peerless and the Nets. They have all disappeared. The police, you mean? Do you happen to know where they went? Sorry, Lars. That I don't. Okay, well, they don't look they're gone, so that's fine, I guess. That's fine by me. Uh, let's take my boy and see where we are going. All right. You arrived at Borrowing Green now. Name it there, Cheryl. We made it to we have made it to Bolloween Green at last. By a nuts whisker. I think I would better stash my bicycle somewhere so the police don't find it. Good idea. It's not like we can go back to the river or change the lane. We'll have to lie low here for a while. Oh what is it, the pigs? No, look, that's Hans over there, isn't, isn't it? Hans? Huh. You nearly gave me a heart attack. Detective. So stupid, please still haven't caught you, good. Yes, we've managed to outturn them so far, Hans. In a sm no small part thanks to you and your brother. But what are you doing here? Walking, I fixed that you. Really? I didn't know you did that kind of work as well. I do all work. We do not drink only tea like you British. And you should not be wasting time here. Going to back streets, where it is hard to find you. Yes, that's my plan. I wish you luck. That stupid police doesn't find you. Thank you, Hans. Bye. So now we head into the dark and dingy back streets of Bolloween Hill. Exactly, come along. Alright, you just follow me. Okay, let's see what we have there. Okay, coin, coin. See any hmm, okay. Uh -huh. Look at there is a puzzle hidden in that steel lamp. Oh well spotted shell. Let me just see if I can solve it quickly. Alright. 
149 bed tempered sheep. Here we have nine sheep, blah blah blah, okay. ah, with, within two squares of each other. Okay, well, this saw this pass before, so now I know the concept. I'm familiar with the concept. We don't suppress it here, but uh, whatever. Uh, no, but then they will be too close to each other. Uh, that should still work. That doesn't work because of this ship, though. Still be fine. Uh, what else can I do here? How can I include the last ship? This setup works around there, but it won't work over there. And this one will be too close. Two are too close to each other. Uh, then these two are too close to each other. Hmm. This one is making some problems. I'm just going back to the same way that I was earlier, so it won't help me. Uh, the distance between these two is too small, so it won't work. Same about these two. This one is a problem, which makes me move it here. Then again, we are stuck with one ship. I'm always stuck with one ship.
Ship them. Um, hmm. Okay, so in this setup, this is uh, the problematic ship because it's close to this one and that one. And if I do this, then these ones will be too close to these two. to cross these ones. Ay caramba! Um, hmm. Ay caramba! Okay. This is still a problem though. Can put one away so they all have to be on the field though. Okay. Um, hmm. Well this one can be technically here. The question is whether it helps me or not. Hmm. 
No, they're none of them are in front of something. Uh, find a lot of patterns, but none of them seems to include the last chip. There's always one extra one. One extra sheep. be a problem because the lower one is close to it um, hmm. what do we do with the last ship what do we do with the last ship that's a good question uh, okay. so this won't work because they're in front of each other I think I'm relying on the sock too much. Okay, this is the distance we need to be in in order to not do that. Uh, okay, we could do that and it should be fine. Oh, this is actually not fine. Uh, this is fine though. Uh, but this is going back to the previous pattern. Yeah, this is going back to the previous pattern. Uh, It's correct from the upper section, but not from the lower section. So this ship is in a good position, but the upper one is not in a good position. I think that actually might fall. Ta 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 to distance, to distance, to distance, to distance, to distance, diagonally, diagonally. Yeah, that should work. This is an interesting one. Not what do you good, Catriel, not good. What did they do wrong? Bad luck, if the sheep are that close together, they would definitely end up fighting. But they are the alchemy. What do you mean? You told me I can do it, the alchemy. Vertically or horizontally. The sound of fight, luckily, they don't fight if they are the alchemy from each other. Or oh, separated by a rock. Am I... Oh, this one is too close. I see the problem. I see the problem. But then this door too close. Ah, uh, because of the drawing board. Okay. 
Does this one? Two, 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 two. Diagonally, 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 diagonally. I think that might work. So it's basically the same pattern that I did earlier, but just like flipped over. So now it works, I guess. Okay. This is an interesting one. There we go, okay. Alright, I made a silly mistake earlier, but that's fine. You did it. The atmosphere on the farm is nice and quiet. And the sheep look happy. Nice. There are puzzles everywhere, aren't there? If you keep your eyes peeled, you will never be bored or will never be a bored colleague again. Exactly. So let's see how many more we can find. If nothing else, it takes my mind off other things. Okay, let's do anything else. Okay, nice. We found another coin. Uh, I believe that's the last point that was missing probably. Yeah, let's just move on. Next, please. Next, please. Huh. I think we can finally lower our guard a little shell. Oh yeah. There's no way the police would spot us here. Are you barking? We are still right out in the open. I suppose you're right. This probably is a little too exposed still. Let's head down some of the smaller streets to somewhere less obvious. Alright. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Uh, obviously, is there anything else? No. Coin. There we go. Do you think this fire hydrant works? I'm sure the Bolloween Hill Self Defense Force check that kind of thing, don't they? I mean, normally, yeah, they, they, they do check it normally. Anyway, even if water doesn't come out of it anymore, puzzles do. Look. It's part of uh, the fire department uh, job to like uh, check uh, fire items. Unfrozen. This is the inside of a walk-in freezer. All liquids are freezing here. But while this man is carrying out his work, there is one area inside the freezer where there is some unfrozen liquid. Where will it be? Slide the circle to where you think the liquid is. Isn't it inside his body? Mm, this should do it, I think. Yeah. And that's how it's done. You did it. The answer was the man himself. There are all kinds of liquid, liquids inside people, blood being one example. Yep. Ah, that's so much better. I knew I would feel like this once I've solved it. That's what I said to myself after the nap. Well, sorry, Shell, but there is no time for napping now. The police are probably hot on our heels. Alright, let's do a quick look around and move on. Yeah, cool. Yeah, 
This should be the last con I had. Uh, come on. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, it should be fine. Let's move on. All right. Now we can pause our. Now we can pause for blood. We should be safe here. Well, safe-ish. Yes, let's say uh, just have a little rest. Uh oh, there is someone there. What? Where? Oh yes, over there it is. It's Mouseman. Oh, what man? Yeah, what man? Nothing here. Yeah, cool coin. Mm -hmm. I can't tell if this is junk or something. Someone is still using. Well, it looks like it's uh, operational, so I would say it's probably still in use. And it is hiding a puzzle too, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, let's see what we have here. Stop the bomb. The timer on the bomb is ticking away, apparently. It can be stopped if you connect the six... If you connect the, the numbers... One to six in order. If you slide or touch the number panels, they change color. Connect the numbers in order to stop the bomb. Am I supposed to start anyway? Okay. Uh Okay. Easy. A good puzzle is something you have to chew over. That was too easy. There we go. You did it. The timer stopped. What a relief. Alright, nice. It's actually quite impressive that someone that someone is trying to keep this whole thing going. That's true. It is important not to let things be torn away just because they are old and looking a bit sorry for themselves. That's a weird way to put it, but sure, yeah. Lots of a chat. Like a rodent from the gutter, he appeals. Hooks and villains tremble, tremble in fear. The power mouse of justice is here. Da 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 Join the dance, I am Redman. So, yes, of course. Phew. I'm glad it is you, though, Mr. I, I, I mean, Redman, and not uh, the police. I was out for a stall on patrol looking for a troubled sword. And I would wager I found one, judging by that face so glum. Well, the thing is, the police are after me because they think I'm murdered. Clover Pies, the owner of the, the Lucky Clover on Chancellor Lane. I didn't do it, of course, obviously. That's the piece, the pits. Those rotten kids accusing you of a crime you didn't commit? Ahem. <laughs> Aha, but don't let your spirits fear fall. I'm well aware of all the deeds you've done. 
and so are the good people of London. Everyone knows Katia Layton's nose is as clean as they goes. So stand tall, rise above it all. Thank you, Redman. You've given me the strength to carry on. Good will. Have no fear. Sooner or later, you will be in the clear. Yes, I I'm innocent, and I believe that the truth will prevail in the end. Although, being on the run like this, I'm not exactly sure how that's going to happen. How long am I going to have to remain a fugitive? Who is going to prove that I'm innocent? Talking to yourself again, Kurt? Yes, yes I am. I can't believe I've been so blind. There is no one else who is going to prove my innocence. No one else except me. Aha! A light bulb in our heroine's noggin. The answer to the riddle comes on knocking. Yes, Miss Sidon, it falls to you, but no one is better at getting out of a stew. Justice will be served in due course. Ahem. Thank you, Ratman. So, how are you going to do it then, Kurt? How are you going to clear your name? By investigating the case and terror mining who the real culprit was, of course. So we must go straight back to Chancellor Lane. Brilliant idea. Hornets' nests are such a fun thing to walk into. If I don't investigate the scene of the crime, I will never be able to prove that I didn't do it. We have to get inside the Lucky Clover. I know it's dangerous, but it is a risk we are going to have to take. Ah, alright. I don't want to rain on your parade. It was your light bulb moment after all. Thank you, Shell, and so you've been dragged into this. I can't have you making exceptions to any mystery solved motto just because the mystery relates to a member of the pact. Otherwise, there is no hope of you making any progress on the conversational canon case, is there? And anyway, I don't like that Britannias. And I don't like that Brit Britanna. <laughs> God damn it. Britannias. I just want to bite him. How dare he accuse you of being a murderer? He is really talking, he is really taking the biscuit. So I say, let's find the real killer and show that so and so, up for being so sure of himself and so wrong. Yes, I'm so in agreement with you. Alright then, Chancellor Lane, here we come. Okay, nice. Proof of Innocence. Reitman makes Kat realize she must prove her innocence rather than running away. She and Shell resolve to return to the scene of the crime. And Perfetti probably will be, be will be there as well, so yeah. Alright, uh, we are done here, so let's go over there. Luckily it wasn't the police then. No. So back to our own territory, yes? I just need to get uh, my bike shell. Oh, we have a cutscene. Ah. Uh. Well, that's exciting. Uh, a whole new ball game. <laughs> well, that's a title. Uh, get away from the giant ball. It will take a particular route starting at top left and going down to the bottom right. 
if you are hit by the ball or have no more left to go, you lose. Uh, the ball and the bike move at the same time on each run. They move one square. The bike can travel through any squares if it has been through them before. Okay, so this is the pet the ball takes. Can I can I just go down? Wait, where is the exit? Okay, hold on. I think I I think I get what you want me to do. Here. Okay. Mm, this should do it, I think. Any mystery or any puzzle solved. You did it. You managed to dodge it nicely. Put the doggy in the basket. That was too close for comfort. <sighs> it was a little more exciting <sighs> than I'd bargained for. We were very nearly flattened. Surely the police couldn't have been behind that, could they? How do believe they would use such rough tactics? But who else would have done it? It was a bit over the top for the police, though. Maybe they are just so desperate to catch you, they've lost all sense of what's right and wrong. Hmm, maybe. Anyway, we would better be on the lookout for other dangers. Alright, come on then. Let's hurry back to the Lucky Clover now. Alright. Hold on, so is that how you destroy them? It is. Huh. Okay. Okay, let's take the bike. Chancellor Lane. There is not a police officer in sight here on Chancellor Lane. Well, there is a surprise. I was sure they would be out in force here, uh, waiting for me to come back. Do you think he's given up on trying to catch you? Chief Inspector Bertianis? Not likely. He doesn't strike me as a type to give in easily. No, agreed. He is, uh, he's a dogged one, right? Ciao, senorita. What are you doing back here? Oh, sorry. I know you tried to help me get away before. There is just something I need to do at the scene of the crime. But maybe it has been solved already? I I is that why there are no police around here now? I wish it had, but I haven't heard anything like that. There were police up and down the whole street until not long ago. But suddenly, they all disappeared. Hmm, I see. I wonder where they all went. Well, let's not waste our chance uh, to get inside the Lucky Clover shell. Come along. I have a feeling it's going to be a trap. But sure, let's go. Why not? Let's see if we have any puzzles here before I leave. There is an await for whoever committed this terrible crime, madame. Naturally, one is quite certain of your own innocence, however. Okay, good, cool, thank you. 
Parent did not uh, detect the woman or kill the shopkeeper bears clearly, but the police said they were certain. Worms, that is, the police are after the wrong person. Isn't that just the worms, poor woman? Well, if you believe she is innocent, Benji, then so do I. You are so clever. Alright, and this guy spoke to us, so it's not a bother, so let's uh, move on. Let's just move on. Hmm, there aren't even any police in the shop now. At the scene of the crime, you would expect at least one or two plods to be here, wouldn't you? Well, this is your chance then, isn't it? Get investigating. Very suspicious. Oh, hello, Tanix. Why didn't I hear my, my raid uh, thing? Hmm, that's weird. Why, well, hello, Tanix. Hello, Raiders. How are you doing? How was. Uh, uh, what are you playing right now? Cave Story, Cave Story. That's right. You're going to Cave Story. How was Cave Story? Welcome, boss. Welcome, Nix. Welcome. Zero Dine? Zero Dine, yes. Welcome everyone. An evil phonix. Intense, just finished it after a many tries at the boss. Ooh. Wait, but aren't there like uh, multiple uh, endings for uh, this game? So like, are you going to like try to aim for another ending or something? Just I think there are multiple endings. I, I think... Uh, I think you mentioned it when I... When I stopped by uh, yesterday? No, the day. When was it? I don't remember. It was one of the days that you just started it. Uh, we got a good ending, so I think I would leave it <laughs> at that for now. <laughs> That's fair. Usually, usually I, only, I also stick for like a, a one ending, so this film. That's more than film. The only games that I would like consider like doing the, the multiple endings are games like uh, Dragon Quest, like the new Dragon Quest, because uh, you actually have to get uh, the full ending by replaying the game. But they also make you skip a lot of stuff, so that's like the only game I would consider like replaying uh, to get uh, the quote unquote true ending. <sighs> So yeah, it's uh, it's uh, it's more than fair not doing uh, more than one ending. But anyway, let's see what we have in this puzzle we're about to face. Uh, everything looks neat and tidy in here, as usual. No sign of break-ins or anything. Huh. What does it get? Have you found a clue to the identity of the real killer? No, not a clue. The opposite, a puzzle. So I think Cave Story is too intense to keep playing over and over. Yeah, I mean, in general, in general, I don't think you play too many platformers. A uh, bit tongue. Like, I saw you play, like, uh, a few of them. Like, uh, for example, even, like, a uh, Flashpoint you gave up on because it was uh, too hard. But uh, overall, I don't think you play too many platformers. Like, uh, for the most part, you play a lot of uh, shooters. Like, uh, Doom and, uh, and uh, this kind of stuff. And uh, blood or bleed or and all of these things. So yeah. Uh, to make some items of jewelry, this girl needs various pieces of cord, each with one red bead on them. Using a special cutter that cuts in a circular shape, get the length of cord ready with just one cut. The cord is not joined up anywhere. You can see, slide the circle to move it to the place where the cutter needs to be used. The cold cutoff inside the circle is not required. Hmm. Okay, enjoy enjoy your dinner, Nix. Enjoy your dinner. While well, I try to figure out this mess. Uh, this guy has various pieces of cold. Each one with one red bit on them. And uh, once again, thank you for the rain. 
using a special cutter that cuts uh, in a circular shape. Get the lens of cords ready with just one cut. The cord is not joined up anywhere. You can't see. But so does it mean that it's not connected like outside? So like this area is not connected? No, I think it is, right? Yeah, it should be connected. I think it needs like to be cut around here somewhere. Uh Like if I cut around here, this is cut, this is not necessarily cut. Yeah, but then we still have these guys also. Okay, if we assume that like those here, yeah, then these two are connected. And if I assume that like this goes here, yeah, then that's connected. So if I cut this area, this pathway is gone, this pathway is fine, this pathway is gone, this pathway is gone, gone. Okay, I think it needs to be cut here. Because I think the, the thing they are trying to tell us is that when you separate each line to only have one uh, ball on it, and everything outside is already cut off. So we just need to make sure that the ones that we already have are being cut off as well. And I think they do. That's right. This is an interesting one. Yep. Puzzles right. are made for solving. You did it. The code is all ready. Time to make some jewelry. Do you really think that puzzle was for sale? Hmm. I don't know. That's the puzzle, isn't it? That is the puzzle indeed. Okay, I've got coin. Alright. Okay, so we've got one clue. That's an awkward place to display your goods, isn't it? Or does it just look high from all the way down here? She always uses that mannequin head up there to showcase her finest sets. Hmm, wait a minute though. That's a little odd. What is odd? Other than the walking of your mind. Well, when I came in here last night, the head was straight. Now it's at an angle. Told you, the walkings of your mind are odd. Who remembers something like that? I do, and I'm sure I'm right, because I remember looking longly at the very head yesterday evening. So you are saying that between then and now, somebody tipped the head? The fiend. That is what I'm saying, yes. And I can't imagine Miss Price doing it, so it was perhaps the killer. Alright, I take it all back. Perhaps you are onto something, let's investigate. Don't mind if I do. I will just fetch uh, the mannequin's head down. Oh. What is that? Its head is dented 
out of shape, look. Was it always like that? I don't know. There was always there was always a head on it. So I wouldn't have been able to see. Hmm, I wonder when it got damaged. Maybe when it fell on top of her? That on the mannequin head is Lucy's clover. That on the mannequin, uh, that on the mannequin's head in the lucky clover. I don't know. They they missed the key over here. The lucky clover is at, at tilt now, despite being uh, straight when Cat left the shop late last night. Dead is also dented. Th that's kind of weird. Like so far, we're like uh, two mistypes in this game. Or in this specific uh, area. Hmm. That's a bit odd. So far, the entire game didn't really have uh, a mistype of that. Yeah, what about this? Look, Shell, do you see the choke outline? That must be where she was found. Yeah, other than that, you would have no idea this was a matrix scene. No, it all looks completely normal, doesn't it? The display and shelves don't appear to have been disturbed. It's hard to imagine that theft was the motive in that case. Perhaps it was someone she knew. Someone who held a grudge? That's possible. It would explain why there are no signs of struggle. It doesn't sit right with me. There are no signs of anything out of the ordinary in here at all, other than the outline of a dead body. And if it's relevant, the dent in the mannequin's head. Yeah, if it is relevant. I wonder... Uh-oh. What is it, Cheryl? Someone is coming in. It could be the fuzz. Hello, I'm right. I thought you would be here, Katiel. Ah, Emiliana. Just as I expected. Oh, you were expecting me? Of course, you are a professional profiler, you know. I thought you would have a hunch uh, that I would come back here. I don't operate on hunches, Katiel. You might, but I prefer hard facts and scientific analysis. Your profile clearly identified the fact that you would have to come to the scene of the crime to investigate for yourself. And, and will Chief Inspector Betianis be joining us? No, he won't be coming. I found him some bogus information. He's currently investigating some random and completely unrelated location. Ah, I see. So it was you who cleared all the police out of a chancel lane, was it? You gave them a false lead. Correct. But don't imagine that I did it for your benefit. At first I thought we needed to catch you in order to get the truth of this matter. But I was wrong. Sorry? But Yanis has clearly jumped to conclusions here. He hasn't investigated truthfully enough at all. His education are totally flawed. All I want to see is a proper investigation carried out. No corners cut. I don't like that. In other words, you don't think I did it. I... I never said that. A proper investigation is all I said. That still sounds a lot like you believe I'm innocent. Vabien. Let's say, let's say for the sake of argument that I do believe you're innocent. That would be based on evidence, not some misplaced loyalty. So, do you have evid evidence? As a matter of fact, I do. I know that you've been telling the truth. Then it, that in itself is evidence. I can immediately tell when someone is lying, you see. It is quite simple. Just like in this puzzle. Sure. <laughs> truth, lies, and a box of balls. That's a title. Alright. Uh, four people. Okay, let's open it up. Uh, let's see. 
four people are talking next to a box with four by four grid. Let's call them A, B, C, and D. A says there are two balls in each vertical line. B says there is one ball in each horizontal line. C says there is a ball in each of the four corners. D says the only person lying here is A. Two of the four people are lying. Each slot can take one ball. So how many balls are in the box in total? Hold on. Two of the four people are lying. Each slot can take one ball. So how many balls are in the box in total? Uh, there are two balls in each vertical line. Let's let's throw it up. Uh, let's open this. And let's do that. All right. A says there are two balls in each vertical line, which means that there should be like two here, two here, two here, and like keep going with that. B says there is one ball in each horizontal line. Uh, they don't really conflict each other, so let's keep going. C says there is a ball in each of the four corners. Okay, if we do this... Then we all have a conflict with B. Because over here we have two balls. So either B or C are liars. Alright. B says the only person lying here is A. Okay. If A is a liar. If A is a liar... Okay, let's say that uh, A is a liar, like they tell us. So there aren't two balls in each vertical line. And we also will say that... Uh, well, no, because... Okay, D, D is definitely a liar. We can say that D is a liar because this is the only person lying. And we know for certain there are two of them. So we know that D is a liar. And we also know that then A is telling the truth. If A is telling the truth, then either B or C are liars. There's one ball in each horizontal line. There's a ball in each of the four corners. Alright. If we said that like... If we said that B is a liar... So then this will be our old set. And we need to have two in each area, so we will have... Something like that. They can also be up and down, don't really matter. Uh... Okay, so I believe the answer should be eight. If we do this, if we do the other way around. That sees a liar. If sees a liar, then there are no balls in the corners. Not in all four corners. Which means that, like, some of them we need to cut out. Uh, okay. 
So let's say it's like this. Okay, but then we are stuck. So okay, so B have to be a liar. So I think we only have one option, which is. Uh, Something like that. Alright. I can also move them up or down, doesn't really matter. But that should be 8. Mm, this should do it, I think. Yep. And that's how it's done. Alright. You did it. There are 8 balls in total, only A and C historians tie in with each other. B and D were lying. Honestly, honesty is the best uh, policy. Alright, nice. So, you are a working de light vector, Emiliana. Ahaha! Ah, I see you haven't lost your sense of humor despite being the focus of a, a manhunt. Hello. As a, as a favor, I will show you some interesting data. This is... This is the autopsy report. Does it say she is dead? I knew that already. Let's see. Hmm. Ah, look at this. She suffered a blow to the head. And bruising to the chest? What does all that tell us? Hmm, bruising to the chest. Yes, that is something of a mystery, I admit. If I'm reading this correctly, the chest injuries had nothing to do with the case of death, is that right? Yes, it is unclear how these injuries came about. The cranial blow was the clear cause of death. It seems probable that the victim was struck heavily with a blunt object of some description. Hmm. Anyway, that's all the information I am able to give you. You are on your own now. Thank you, Emiliana. I really appreciate it. Don't thank me. The only reason I did this was because I can't stand to see anyone falsely accused. And your profiling clearly shows that the culprit in this case bears no resemblance to you whatsoever. Not to mention... Not to mention what? Not to mention that despite our differences, I can see that you are obviously well-intentioned and, and honest. That's a that's very big of you to say. You're not the killer. That's what my profiling demonstrates. Now it's up to you to prove my profiling accurate. Goodbye, Catriel. So after all that yapping, it turns out the perfect storm is on our side. Yes, and she's a very valuable ally. The real puzzle now is that bruising on Miss Clover's chest. How did it get there? She died here in the shop from a blow to the head. No signs of struggle. The dented mannequin head on top of the cabinet and the bruising on the victim's chest. Aha! I wonder... I wonder... The... Thoracic? Yeah, I think Thoracic. Thoracic bruising. I believe Thoracic is like uh, the chest area. If I remember my medical knowledge correctly. According to the post-mortem report, it was a blow to the head that killed Price, but there was also considerable bruising on her chest. Why? Yes, of course. Now I know exactly what happened there. You do? I do, and I can prove my own innocence. So why was she killed? That's what got me scratching. Scratching my head, I mean. I haven't got fleas. The person with all the answers will be here soon enough. All we have to do is wait. The killer is coming here.
And here he is. Catfair Layton. Here you are. Now I've got you. Uh-oh, he's caught at us. Ah, right on cue. Good. Miss Layton! Cat! Is it you who's got me, or the other way around? What? This mystery is history. Yes, the orchestrator of this plot is someone driven by extreme jealousy. Jealousy of my success. Isn't that right, Chief Inspector Royal Britannius? Oh, please. You're behind all this, aren't you? You're the one who set me up. No. And I, of course, am innocent. <laughs> what are you saying, Cat? The Chief Inspector? Really? Are you off your rocker? Explain yourself. The two of you have always competed with one another for success in your careers. But you've been losing more and more ground each day recently, haven't you, Chief Inspector? So you concocted an elaborate plan. What plan? When you found out that Inspector Hastings was benefiting from my puzzle-solving skills, you started thinking. You decided to frame me for murder. And discredit your rival as someone who solicits the help of criminals at the same time. She's got it wrong, hasn't she, Britannius? I, I thought it was always just friendly rivalry between us. How could you do something like this? I, I mean... Murder? Uh, let's not jump to conclusions, Inspector. Your colleague may be a right royal pain in the Britannius, but a murderer he is not. You've lost me. Ms. Price was trying to fetch down a mannequin's head from on top of a cabinet. Unfortunately, it fell on top of her, striking her a deadly blow to the skull. But you said Britannius planned it. How could he have planned that? You have the order of events in reverse. The Chief Inspector was the person who discovered Ms. Price's body. It was only afterwards that he conceived of this whole plan. You really wanted to get ahead that badly? I was born with nothing, you know. Absolutely nothing. For me, power and prosperity is the be-all and end-all. If you beat me to the top, I'd be a failure again. A nothing. A nobody. It was the extent of the bruising on Miss Price's body that mystified me at first. But it was because of how hard you tried to resuscitate her. Isn't that right? Yes. <laughs> Poor woman. So I think that proves it. A merciless competitor? Yes. A murderer? No. Wouldn't you agree, Inspector Hastings? I suppose that just about sums it up, yeah. <laughs> oh? Why was he crying when we see doors on the screen? That's weird. The incident involving Miss Price was a very sad affair all around. But the people of Chancellor Lane came, came to for me. Thanks to them, I was able to clear up the false accusation, accusation of murder, for which I was so heinously framed. I will never forget the faithfulness of everyone who stood by me so loyally and believed in me and believed in my innocence. All right. Yes. Save my progress. A new case has been pinned on the office board. All right. Time to jump into the last case. Case number twelve. Diamonds aren't forever. A curious investigation arrives at the agency. It is for a puzzle party to win a famous fortune. But who is the host, Lord Adams? Let's find out.
Miss Layton, look what just arrived in the post. It's addressed to Professor Layton. Read it out, please, Ernest. I have discovered the Richmond fortune. Now to share it out, I am arranging a puzzle-solving party to take place on Christmas Eve. All those wishing to participate should come to Richmond Court. Expectantly yours, Lord Adamas. Hmm, interesting. The legendary Richmond Fortune. Richmond Fortune? It's a very famous tale here in the city, Sherl. There's a large palace that was built here in London by the now deceased multi-millionaire Maximilian Richmond. Since his death, the place has been deserted. People have long speculated that there must be a fortune hidden somewhere inside the enormous mansion. And there's been no end of breaking and entering by people trying to find it. It's been ten years now since Maximilian passed away. But what's all this about a puzzle-solving party to share it out? It sounds rather queer. Do you think it's a hoax? Hoax or not, it sounds like fun. We'll go. I think you'll find it wasn't actually your name on the invitation. I expect that's because of the sign above the door. It only says Leighton, after all. I imagine whoever sent the invitation was hoping for the attendance of a great puzzle solver. In which case, the invitation landed in the right lap anyway. If there's anyone who can outstrip Dad in the puzzle solving department, it's me. Oh, really? A very, very shameful lie. Or rather, very, very haughty. Uh, diamonds aren't forever. Alright. Oh. So, this is Richmond Court. Hmm. It's gone to the dogs, but you can tell it was quite something in its day. Why hello there. Well, well, what do you know? Gosh, it seems we weren't the only people who had a mysterious invitation in the post. That's quite an impressive guest list. Yes. Seven of London's wealthiest. <laughs> I didn't know you'd be coming too. Hello, Mr. Barnan. I see you're in very good company. I wonder why we're all here together. Yeah, it's a real head scratcher, ain't it? <laughs> I don't know what this is all about, but who wouldn't be intrigued by a note like that? I quite agree. I couldn't imagine declining such a fascinating invitation. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to Richmond Court. I am your host, Lord Adamas. Hmm? Huh? I would like to invite you all to take part in a game with me. A puzzle-solving game with the very highest stakes. This is crazy. Lose, and the entire fortune will be donated to the Dark Jew Foundation. <laughs> so, on the table in front of you, you will find some contracts. Sign them, please. Getting crazier. You may, of course, refuse if you wish. As long as you don't mind your dirty secret being exposed. Secret? 
Oh, yeah. I'm sure they'll all jump to sign on the dotted line. This all sounds totally above board. Oh, well, this promises to be quite entertaining. Yes, count me in. Oh, yes. The mayor never shies away from a challenge. <laughs> what fun. What? Why not? Sounds like it's worth taking a punt on. Exactly. We dragons didn't get where we are today without taking risks. I'm in. I am of the same opinion as you. Eliza, what is your feeling? I... I think I ought to have a go. Do I sign here? <laughs> Well, Lord Adamas, whoever you are, you have your wish. We have all signed on the dotted line. Excellent. So let's get started on the puzzles. All right. Welcome back, Nyx. You are in time for the final chapter, or final case, I guess, because they call it cases in this game. Well, that's all seven of our dirty signatures on the paper. Ha ha ha. Precisely, how is this puzzle solving party going to proceed, please? The rules of the games I have devised for you are all extremely simple. From this hallway, you have access to four rooms. The red door leads to the Rosenberg room. The blue door leads to a room called the Treasury. The green door leads to the hope room, and behind the purple door is a room called the treachery. The Rosenberg room and the treasury? Honestly, what is all this nonsense about? Hope and treachery? You must locate and solve a hidden puzzle in each of the four rooms. If you fail at the puzzle, you lose. And according to the terms of the contracts, you just sign, you will hand over your fortunes to me. If you complete all four puzzles successfully, you win. In which case, you will become the heir of the great Richmond fortune. I hope that's all clear, good. Then please pick a door and begin. Well, this sounds simple enough, ho ho ho. I feel my fortune swelling already. Ha ha ha. Don't be so sure of yourself, doubly. I will give you a run for your money. So you can choose which room you tackle when. Which means the order you go with them could be such strategically important. Oh dear. I'm really not sure which door to pick first. All roads lead to the same destination, Liza. You must solve all puzzles in the end if you wish to win. Well, that's a good point, I suppose. We should simply say, may the best man or woman win. That sounds about right. All the other guests have picked a room and gone in, miss. Where do you think we should start? Hmm, yes, let me see. Welcome, Miss Layton. Miss Catriel Layton. Tension mark. Who is this that voice? It is the same person who was speaking before. It seems the mysterious Lord Adams is welcoming, welcoming me personally. I invited Professor Layton to this event as an adjudicator. It is a shame he hasn't come. I'm afraid my father is busy, but I'm here. Couldn't I help? There's just one thing the adjudicator must do first. I need you to sign the contract that you will find in the middle of the room. What uh, sort of contract? Let's uh, take a look. Actually, hold on. Okay. 
Uh huh. Is there something else? Okay, nice. Yeah, we got a uh, Pokemon of some kind. And this is each door. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, Sharon. Do you see how this burner swings? A swinging burner? Really? Oh, the technology. Oh, look, Sharon. What now? Don't tell me it smells. No, there is a puzzle hidden in it. We could do with something to lighten the mood, don't you think? Alright, let's see what puzzle we have now. Magical Gatekeeper. This mysterious magical world. This is a mysterious magical world. There are three people standing in front of a gate, a beard handler, a snake charmer, and a butterfly keeper. The following conversation takes place. A. I'm not, I'm not the gatekeeper. B. Neither am I. C. I am the gatekeeper. One of the speakers appears to be the gatekeeper. But which one? Slide the circle to move it over who you think is the gatekeeper. Uh, I mean, they didn't tell me that anyone, any one of them is a liar. I'm confused. Uh, there are mysterious magical world, there are two people standing in front of the gate, a beard handler, a snake charmer, and a butterfly keeper. Okay. The following conversation takes place. I am not the gatekeeper. Neither am I. I am the gatekeeper. I mean... What did we see? This puzzle is a bit weird. Oh, that's not like me. Okay, no, apparently it's not the... Bad luck, this is a mysterious magical world. Open your mind. Okay. Wait, is it saying that it's the butterfly? Do it, I think. <laughs> it. That's a dumb. Alright. You did it. The speech bubble is coming from the butterfly. The butterfly is the gatekeeper. Use this key to open the magical gate. This is so stupid. Alright. Ah, that was fun. Can we stop fiddling with uh, the fixture and fitting now? Alright. It's possible now, okay. Alright, so let's see what we have here. This must be the contract, let's see what this is all about. The adjudicator hereby consents to make the event the events he or she witnesses at this puzzle-solving event known to the general public. What an unusual terms. I was expecting to be sworn to secrecy, not uh, the other way around. Now, Miss Laydon, before you signed on the dotted line, first let's see if you are a worthy substitute for your father. How many puzzles have you solved so far in your career as a detective? Hmm, well... 
It seems you have solved a total of 148 puzzles so far. In that case, I'm willing to accept you as adjudicator in your father's stead. So now, please sign the contract. You will be required to spread the word about what you witnessed here today, to make the public aware of what transpires. There, I've signed it. Is that, is that right? Very good. Now, you know the rules. Losers lose everything, and the winner takes away the great Richmond fortune. Your job is to oversee the puzzle solving until all participants participants have been eliminated, or until somebody wins. So the puzzles of Richmond for uh, of Richmond Core to wait you. Enjoy. Ah, participant. Well, you got the job, cat. Now, where do we start? Hmm. Let me see. All right, I've decided. We start in the Rosen room, Rosenberg room, because because I feel like it. Put me down now. Because you feel like it? Shell, let's not forget that Miss Slayton instincts have led to the successful resolution of many great cases. I'm quite sure they will guide her well now too. Thank you, Ernest. So unless you have a better suggestion, Shell. Well, no, not really. I thought so. Into the Rosenberg room then. Alright. Let's go. Here we are in the Rosenberg room then. It is every bit as ostentatious as the hallway, isn't it? Didn't someone say this Richmond court was a deserted ghost house? Well, the ghost certainly seem to have some nice furniture. This place is swanky. I'm starting to think perhaps all the rumors about this place are unfounded. Miss Slayton, Cheryl, Mr. Sloans and Mr. Chance are over there, look. We are not the only mongrels to have picked this room then. It looks like they are discussing something. Seriously, Grant, what are we doing here? I don't you think this whole thing is a farce? Come on, Caesar, you know as well as I do what this is all about. All seven us, all seven of us, invited here to Richmond Court of all places. Yes, but why, why now? It has been years since since it happened. And in any case, no one else beside us, Seven, knows what went on. Two, I don't understand it either, which is why we have no choice but to agree to this charade. Come on, we are supposed to be finding a puzzle in this room, remember? I don't know what they were eroding to there, but anyway, it doesn't sound like they've found the puzzle yet. Let's go and talk to them. I'm curious about something. Uh, let's speak to them first, I guess, before I look for the puzzle. Mr. Chen and Mr. Sloans, I see we've chosen the Simone. Ah, Catriel, hello. This was your choice too, was it? You haven't managed to find the puzzle yet, then? No, not yet. We've been looking, but no luck so far. It's all part of this Adam's fun, I suppose, testing us to see if we can find these puzzles, let alone solve them. Do either of you know Lord Adams? Never even heard the name before. Nor me. I don't think any of us seven know who he is. Wait, they... They don't know who Lord Adams is, but they know the estate? 
for some reason. Okay. I will tell you one thing. I will put money on him not being a real lord. He is playing us, and I don't like that. This whole puzzle party idea stinks. But he sounded rather enthusiastic about it before. He sounded. I must say though, the stakes are alarming, alarmingly high. True, you could win the, the rich one fortune, but on the other hand, you stand to lose everything you own. It is very, it is a very risky gamble. Yeah, it's a very risky, risky gamble. You are right there, but I've never balked at taking risk before, risks before, and I'm not about to start now. If there is one thing I've learned, it is that the stakes are always high in business. Success doesn't come for free. Oh, I see, yes. And of course, Lord Adams did mention a secret that he would expose if you refused to participate. Listen, Gert, if you had been in business as long as I have, you would have more than a few skeletons in your closet, I'm sure. Absolutely. So we'd appreciate it if you didn't ask too many questions. Anyway, we've got a puzzle to find, haven't we? Aye. Time to stop belly aching and start puzzle hunting. Alright, so we did this. And apparently the puzzle is right over there. Hmm, this clock is a little peculiar, don't you think? Why? It's telling the right time, isn't it? Exactly, but this is supposed to be an all abandoned place. You wouldn't expect any clocks in here to tell the correct time, would you? No, that's true. This is very strange. And someone is even kindly hidden a puzzle in it as well. Shell, would you like to do the honors? Me? Alright. A maze ball tree. Diamond, the disc clock and ball puzzle, blah blah blah. Okay, this is the same rules as usual. Yeah, okay. Is there a limit? No, I can just do it. Uh, okay, cool. But we do have ABC. Oh, I see. Okay, I get it. This way will be going to go down. Alright. 
Okay, so this one is down. So now I need to walk to this one. There we go. This puzzle's got some bite. I ain't nothing but the helm's dog. You did it. Well done. Thank you. This this puzzle is exactly uh, rather easy. <laughs> but thank you. Uh, you think it was this Adam's fellow who has been keeping the clocks around here uh, running? I'm not sure. All I can say for sure is that you have to take homers with a pinch of salt. For me? Well, I mean, it's a puzzle where you just need to like move the numbers to make space. W once you know how, how the puzzle works, it's, it's easy, I guess. This, this is the tilt one I'm doing. So what you need to like to do is uh, just like make spaces and that's it. Okay, this is something. Now that's really something, although what is it really? It's not a painting, is it? That's a stained glass shell. Haven't you seen any before? Oh, interesting. There are pieces of glass missing in some places. Maybe they got broken? Mr. Richmond was extremely wealthy, Shell. I don't imagine he would uh, have left something like this in a state of despair. despair. Good point. Well made. Found the puzzle, have you, Catriel? No, not yet. We were just studying this piece of stained glass. For some reason, there are one or two pieces of glass missing from it. Well, I did hear that Mr. Richmond was very ill in his final years. He probably didn't bother keeping up with the repa repairs on the place. Hmm, I don't know. It strikes me as odd. If it was in the process of being repaired, it would have been in situ? Here? In which case, where are the new pieces of glass? I don't know what Sito means, but I assume it's like something like it should have been like around or something. Okay, okay. Uh huh. Oh, what is this? It looks like small fragments of red glass. Glass? Oh, do be careful, miss. You don't want to cut yourself. Don't worry, Anas. They are not very sharp. Ah, I wonder if these... Are you onto something, cat? Well, I wonder if these pieces of glass would fit into the stained glass window. Yes. I think we've just discovered the hidden puzzle of the Rosenberg home. On the Bolos Evercatel, well done. So what is the puzzle all about then? What is this Adam's fellow trying to stamp us with? I don't imagine it's going to be easy to solve, but that makes it all the more fun. Alright. Let's see what we're dealing with. The Red Mountain. Ah, uh, okay. There is an unfinished stained glass window. It's called the Red Mountain. But the most important part, the mountain, is missing. Can you put the pieces in to complete the picture? It's important to make sure that the two different types of glass are placed alternately. Slide the pieces to move them into the frame. Touch them to rotate. Two different types of glass, so it means like I need to make like different uh, triangles uh, colors, probably. Okay, this one might be a bit tricky. This one might be a bit tricky. Sure. Yeah, that's a problem. Ok, 
Okay. That's not quite the uh, direction I want to be in. Yeah, that's... Hmm. Am I allowed to overlap them? Probably not, right? Okay, let's try it again. Uh, hmm. Sure, let's do this one. Not quite. No, no none of them will fit uh, this way. Okay, let's try something else. No. Eh, uh, that's a maybe. Yeah, that's a maybe. Hmm, actually, no, that's not going to work. There we go. This should do it, I think. Puzzles are made for solving. You did it. The Red Mountain is now complete. The towering figure rising towards the sun is a certain strength. All right. There, the stained glass image is complete. Very nice, Kurt. Well done. Oh, look, there is uh, something written on the bottom of the box that uh, the glass pieces were in. So there is. Hmm, allow me, miss. Hmm. The Rosenberg was barren. Nothing grew there. No one owned it. No one wanted it. Yet underground treasure sparkled. Great story, what does it mean? Hmm, it sounds like it has some hidden meaning, but hmm. It sounds like oil. There can't be any doubt in now, Grant, surely. It must be the same Rosenberg. Which would mean this Adam's nose. Alright, keep your hair on, Caesar. We don't know that for sure yet. Keep my air, my air on. We are talking about everything I have built up, my entire fortune. That tiny publishing firm I started out with, and now finally I'm in a position where I control one of London's biggest papers. I, you are not the only one, the only one of us who came up from humble origins. It is funny actually. Makes me think of how we were back then. Ten years ago now. Yes, ten years ago. It feels like an age. I worked too hard, and it was... Hmm. It seems Mr. Chance and Mr. Sloan didn't manage to solve the puzzle. So they have to end over their fortunes? Unless they want to break the terms of the contract, yes. So, are we enjoying ourselves? How did you find the puzzle I set for you? Those who solve it are invited to move to another room and take the next challenge. Those who failed to solve it, to solve it have lost everything. Please leave the room and proceed to along the road to ruin. The road to where? There is a passageway over there. I expect that's what he's referring to. Oh, okay. Losers must wait in the cellars. Those still in the game, please have fun. Loser? I've never been a loser in my life. Subtle down, Caesar. We didn't manage to solve the puzzle, so for that reason we are out. Come on, let's go. 
Tesk. They couldn't have their tails any further between their legs. Understandably, on paper at least, they have just lost their entire fortunes. But they knew what uh, they were getting themselves into. Anyway, we must find the next puzzle. Let's go back out into the hall. Okay, looks like we do have uh, puzzle pieces. Frozen bell. In Cat and Co. first room, the red door Rosenberg room was a sand glass picture. After fitting the missing pieces in place, it shows a beautiful red mountain. Alright. Okay, so we can't go over there. Oh. Okay, cool. I think I checked everything else. Something was just triggered, I didn't mention it, right? Yeah, that would go. Okay, yeah, we are good there. Well, there are three more rooms left, uh, leading off this entrance hall, miss. Which one do we pick now? Yes, what are the options again? Well, there is the treasury, the hope room, and the treasury, the tre treasury left. Hmm, well, I think the next room we should tackle is... The treasury. It sounded like you put a lot of thought into that. But don't tell me, that was your gut talking to you, wasn't it? Of course, we have to succeed at all the puzzles, so my gut tells me it doesn't matter which room we enter next. Well, in that case, it's through the blue door, isn't it? Quite tight, Ernest. In we go. Alright, let's go. So this is the treasury room, isn't it? Or is it? It's a little dingy, isn't it? But still a lavish room, no question of that. Look at all the exquisite furniture and ornaments. Oh look, we have company. Miss Wade and Mr. Fullhold are over there. Yes, so they picked this room. What are we going to do, Mr. Fullhold? We still haven't managed to find the puzzle. Yes. It, it still eludes us, doesn't it? Well, I suppose we can't give up. Let's keep looking. Alright, Lisa. Hello. Are you sure you should be doing this? Who? We, who have agreed to take part in this game, could lose everything. All the wealth we have earned. It is dangerous. But I'm sure this Lord Adams is only interested in myself and the others. You were just a child when it happened. I'm still technically one of the seven dragons, even though it's only a title I inherited from my father. My butler, butler told me all about what happened. He has served my family for years. As the only surviving member of the Wade household, it is my duty to take up the gauntlet now. I see. Alright. What are they chin wagging about, eh? Whatever it is, they don't seem to have located the puzzle in this room yet. Let's ask them how they are getting on. Okay, let's see what they have to say. Hello, Lisa, Mr. Fullhold. Have you managed to find the puzzle he in here yet? Oh, I didn't hear you come in, Katiel. No, I'm afraid we haven't had any luck. 
which is not going well, Miss Lighton, and it makes my dream of becoming a treasure hunter in the future seem very distant. But now you are here, I'm sure all that will change. Very true, we have a trusty ally in Miss Layton, do we not? It is a very risky game you have agreed to take part in, don't you think? You could lose everything you have. I wonder, why did you agree to take part in the first place? Well, Catriel, it is like this, you see. Since uh, my dear parents passed away, my life has been filled with sadness and gloom. And recently, I've come to think that I need more. I want to be the sort of person who can face the world alone and win. I want to be worthy of my great family name. So I sort of thought I should be braver tonight. I see, Lisa. Well, that is an interesting reasoning. Ahaha. Ha. I cannot match Lisa in her honorable reasons. For me, I like the thrill. I find a game with stakes so high to be irresistible. Don't you? Does it not steer the juices of adventure within your veins? Of course, you are a great fan of adventure, aren't you, Mr. Fullhold? That's right, Miss Lighton. It has been my dream for many years to leave the business world behind and go in search of treasure. This is the first step. So we really ought to find it puzzle then, hadn't we? Yes, and you will join us, I hope, Miss Lighton. Of course. Let's find this room hidden secret. Alright. Okay, coin. Another coin. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Hmm. Okay, we have the items to look at. Okay, what's this? Ah, look, there is uh, some jewelry in this uh, decanter here. Shiny and sparkly, I love it. If I wasn't a dog, I would be a magpie. Strange, habit, strange habits some people have, putting jewelry inside a, de a decanter. I don't know what a decanter is, but I assume it's like a glass container. Oh look, all the all the shiny things in here. Ah, a jewelry box. Those are very beautiful pieces, aren't they? There have always been rumors about people breaking into this, this place, ever since it was abandoned. But there aren't actually any signs of forced entry, and with valuable like this still undisturbed, it would appear the rumors were unfounded, wouldn't it? Rumors usually are. Have you found something, Catriel? Is it the puzzle? No, I'm afraid not, but we did discover a rather beautiful collection of jewelry. Oh yes, it's all so pretty, isn't it? We too investigated that jewelry box, but there is no puzzle inside. No, I can't see a puzzle either, although... What is it? Is there something we missed? It is just the way the jewelry has been organized inside the box, or rather... How it isn't organized at all? Don't you find that strange? Oh, I know exactly what you mean. I just want to pull it all out and tidy it up. We can imagine that the owner of this jewelry box was not as meticulous as the two of you. Hmm, I wonder... It's really bothering me that all the jewelry in this jewelry box is so disorganized. 
Okay, that was done. I wonder, do you suppose the jewelry in here was misplaced? Presumably it's supposed to be in the jewelry box we found before. They don't call you Sherlock for nothing, do they? Oh wait, that's me. Well, I for one can't stand this, this area any longer. We must tidy, tidy it up. Let us all walk together. Mm -hmm. Hahaha, <laughs> wait a minute. Yes, this is it. We found the treasury puzzle. Alright. Let's see what we have done. Jewel Doku? Place one jewel in each of the empty spaces in the jewelry box. In the fire we have green. Place the jewels so that there is one of each different kind in the horizontal and the vertical rows. Slide the jewels to move them where you want them to be inside the jewelry box. The jewels in the originally cannot be moved. Okay, so basically Sudoku but with uh, jewels basically. Uh, okay. Okay, so the green can't be here, which means it will be here, and it will be here. The blues... Uh, I can put one of them down, but I can't put the other one down. Unless I can put it in the middle. I can't put it in the middle. I guess I will be with some left over. I can't place the other ones anywhere. Okay, I see the problem now. Uh, I can place this one here. Okay, we do have some uh, some leftover. Uh, okay, this is the only position I can put it here, so it will be there. The red can be positioned backward as well, but it can't. It's also here. So we could change this to something else. Okay, I think that's correct. Uh, let's see real quick. Da 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 da. Yeah, that should be correct.
I don't see any doubles. Um, everyone have the same jewels. Do it, I think. Yep. Puzzles are okay. made for solving. You did it. The jewelry box is filled with sparkling gems. Ah, that's much better. Beautiful jewelry like that really needs to be kept in a proper jewelry box, doesn't it? Eh? Yeah. Hey, cat. A scrap of paper just fell off the bottom of the box. Here, look. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. There is something written on it. I will read it out so everyone can hear me. Ahem. The treasure was stones. Precious stones. No one owned them. No one knew they were there. Until one day, a man stumbled upon them. More mumbo jumbo? That makes no sense. It seems to be related to the snippet we found in the other room, don't you, don't you think? Mr. Fullhold, do you think it is? A man stumbled upon precious stones? It seems we have a winner and some losers. Oh gosh, that voice! It made me jump. Would the winners kindly progress to the next room, and the rest of you, please leave by this exit along the road to ruin. Oh, the, the road to ruin? I'm sorry we did, we did not win, Liza, but what a thrill to take part. Yes, Mr. Fullhold. It has been a lot of fun. If I have lost everything, there is nothing to do but start again from scratch. A new adventure wait! Ha ha ha! I I suppose I'll have to manage somehow. But do you know but do you know what? I think I will manage. What does it matter if I lose my fortune? I still have the memory of my loving parents. That's all I need. For that reason, I'm out. That's a spirit laser. Come this way. Thank you. Alright. They really look... They, they really took a death on the muzzle, didn't they? Yes, more surprising. Their fortunes don't mean as much to them as I would have thought. Well, anyway, we must move on to the next room. Let's go back to the hall and decide which one to tackle next. Okay, so we have another piece. Treasure ring. Cat and Co. chose the blue door treasury as their second room. The jewelry box inside conjures images of a very wealthy family. Alright. And yeah, we still can go to this place, so let's go back. Alright then, which room next? Well, I picked the last door, so now it's your turn, Ernest. Mimis? Oh, I don't. Just say the first thing that comes into your head. And, um, well... There are only two rooms left now, aren't there? So it is, it is between Hope Room and Treachery. I think um, hmm, it has to be the Hope Room. God feeling? Miss Slayton and I prefer to call it Miraculous Instinct Shell. Alright then, the Hope Room it is. Let's open the green door and see what lies behind it. Alright. Let's go. Here we are then. The Hope Room. 
It seems to have a warmer atmosphere than the other rooms. You know, it feels a little strange actually, the being here in the legendary Richmond Court. After all, the rumors that have been flying uh, around over the years. Don't you think so, Ernest? Hmm. Ernest? Hello? Dogs are calling to pinstrips. Oh gosh, I, I, I'm sorry, I am... Um... Come along, Ernest, pay attention. So then the puzzle... Ah! Mayor Lobondina and Mr. Barnon are over there, look. They are so intent on finding that puzzle, they haven't even noticed us. There's no sign of the puzzle anywhere. P. P. Pinies. Ahaha, don't worry, Pip. We will find it in the end. You mark my words. You are right. The important thing is not to get flustered. Why are you so flustered anyway, huh? I mean, haha, I know, there is the little matter of our entire fortune being at stake. But even so, you really seem wound up. Well, it is the Richmond fortune, isn't it? It is the connection that's making me most uneasy. If I could turn back time, I would undo what we did ten years ago. I regret it bitterly, even if I was young and inexperienced. That's no excuse. We are all in the same boat though. I mean, we all play a part. We all played a part, didn't we? We did, and that includes me. If the Richmond Fortune really exists as Lord Adam says, I would like to see it end up in the right hands where it belongs. Which is why I have to win this puzzle solving game. Ha ha ha. Well, you've got to be in it to win it. That's true. So let's find this damn puzzle, eh? Ha ha ha. What did it ever do to you, P. Pinias? They are still looking for it then. Yes, they don't appear to have found it yet. Let's go and talk to them. Alright, let's see what's up. How are you getting along, Piper? Any luck, penis? Cat, haha, there you are. Oh, you've come at just the right time. We can't find the puzzle anywhere. You, seem, you do seem to be having a hard time. Well, yes, but we have no intention of giving, giving up. May I ask, why did you both agree to take part in this party? You don't strike me as the sort of people who can be bullied into doing things they don't want to do. Either of you. Oh, you know me, Catriel. I'm a devil when it comes to a party. Ahaha. <laughs> you could say that again, Pip. And how could I turn down a gig like this? You can't put a price on entertainment of this magnitude. Is that so? Because it seems to me there is another reason, actually. Ahaha, <laughs> always on duty, eh, cat? Can't turn off that suspicious mind of yours. Never mind that now. We must concentrate on finding this puzzle first. Would you help? Please, Katiel? Alright. So let's see what we have here. Uh, okay, okay. Cool, I guess. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. A secret puzzle. Oh, what an eye-catching chandelier. Such a fine taste. A wonderful addition to any room. Yes, yes. You want a chandelier like this in the office, we know. Oh, was it that obvious? I say, Cheryl can almost read your mind now, miss. What a detective. If you are such a good... If you are such a good sleuth now, Cheryl, let's see how you fare with this puzzle. 
A salute? What is a salute? Party people. Okay. Tell the people attend the party and the following comments were made. Man A. A famous singer was there, but she is not a company employee. Woman B. I went to the party, but I am not a company employee. Woman C. The boss's mother was at the party. What is the no maximum number of company employees that could have, could have been at the party? Um, 29? How do people attend the party and the foreign comments were made? My famous singer was there, but she is not a company employee. Woman B, I went to the party, but I am not a company employee. Woman C, the boss's mother was the party. Okay, so the way that I look at it is that it's possible for like the boss's mother to be an employee. So that's why I include her inside. And woman B might be the the singer. So yeah, I think I think 29, right? If we include both uh, both the mother and the boss. I eat puzzles like this for breakfast. Yeah. They don't call me Sherlock Lucy Combs for nothing. Perfect. You did it. There were 29 company employees at the party. If B is both the famous singer and the boss's mother, only one of the guests is not an employee. Alright. Uh, party people has been added to the puzzle index. You're not seriously thinking of installing a chandelier at the office, are you? I think I need a bigger office first. There is no point having a light that uh, overshadows the room. I mean, that's true. Hmm, okay. Hmm, that's an interesting candles. I wonder why there are four candles here, and there is an ample illumination from the light on the ceiling. That's strange, I'm sure they weren't lit when we first came into the room. Someone must have lit them then, the question is who? Oh, that would be me. I thought it might have something to do with the puzzle we are looking for, so I lit them. But nothing happened. I see. Even so, something about these candles isn't sitting right with me. And it's strange that there is a groove in the table top, too. I feel like this is more than just a decoration. Okay, so this is one thing. What about that? These panels look out of place here, don't you think? I wonder what they are for. Even with my nose, I smell something fishy. Do you think they could be connected to the puzzle in some way, miss? Mm, that's interesting. These panels appear to be translucent in places. And they are just the right thickness for... Yes, I wonder if... Have you had a moment of clarity, Catriel? If it is those panels you are getting excited about, I had to bust your bubble. I already checked over them and there was no sign of a puzzle anywhere. The panels are the same thickness as the grooves in the table with the candles. I think we simply have to arrange the panels and the candles correctly to unlock the puzzle. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Puzzle of Hope. 
there are five panels made of cold glass on the table. Stand for these pan panels up on the table and use the light from the candles to present hope. Slide the panels to move them and line them up in the frame to answer. Touch them to rotate. Okay. The fucking stand for these panels on the table. And use the light of hope from the candle to represent hope. Okay, the only question is if I can get the last one as well. Use something else or not? Okay, I'm not allowed to line them on top of each other. Um, the problem with this thing is it doesn't really make an edge. Like, they're always fine. The E is kind of fine. But the other two are a bit of a problem. Um, Well, this makes... Hmm. This can make an E, and it can also make an H. Depends how you look at it. But the same thing can be said about this one. Also, this can be an H, temple speaking, when I look at it. Ah, okay. Uh, 
Man, I really wish I could combine some stuff. Right now, this will okay. The way, the way that I look at it, like this would be an edge because the light will like shine here and it won't get like all the way, so like it will it will reflect and like will create an edge. This is obviously an O, can't really be anything else. Now, the P and the E are the problem. So what I'm not entirely certain about. Because if the light comes from here, which I assume it is, then essentially it will be like something like this, right? This entire area will be like... darkish. So it kind of looks like a P, right? That's not like not really. So that's why I'm like, is that a P? I don't really know. Um, and the E is. I mean, obviously you can make an E like that, but the light only in the middle. If it had uh, more lines, I think it would make more sense to me. Which is why I tried to combine them. Uh, hmm. Well, that's, uh, that's what happens. Mm, this should do it, I think. Okay, not I'm wrong. Good, Catriel, not good. Bad luck. The light from the candles will reveal what is hidden in the panels. Hmm. Does this image give me some kind of clue as well? So. <sighs> hmm. I mean, it could have been flipped. It could have been caught, but like this, this specific one was flipped. Uh. Too much of a leap, which is the problem. Too much of a leap. I could understand how I'm supposed to look at it, it would be nice. Let's let's start with uh, with it flipped and see if I get anything else. This is an interesting one. Okay, no. so I'm definitely wrong about something. All right. All right. They show some error 
above it. Which to me means that the light will probably come from the left side. If the light comes from the left side and reflects on it, how does that help me? If a light is being reflected from the candle, then we will get a shadow, which means over here that will be the shadow, over here that will be the shadow, over here. It will be flipped. Is that better? Um, hmm. Can't you see the master? The light comes from here and being reflected on the paper. Which means that. And also, I assume like the light will be coming from the outside. That's like it will create the shape of the. Uh, the, the light comes from the outside. Right now, this P is not coming out quite the way we want it. When I flip it over... No, flip, flip, flipping it does... Does throw the shadow the way that I want, but the problem is that... Instead of a P, I got a Q. This but I see it. Um, hmm. All right now, the way that it's being reflected will make it into. A B, kind of. I mean, if you hold it in reverse, I guess it works. Because that option doesn't really give me what I need. And the E will be an E. I don't really anything else yeah. So that says hope, but in reverse. I could turn it all on the side. Huh? So it will set on the side. Huh? We do have the arrow. We do have the arrow. Maybe they all means that I need to put it on the side. Uh, 
Okay, so now it will say... All pack this. Five. Yeah, it should should be doing that. Uh, okay. I guess the only question would be rather into flip the E, but let's assume that this is what they want from me. This should do it, I think. Okay, I'm still wrong. Like me. Okay, let's try to flip the E, and if it doesn't work, I will take a hint, I guess. I'm not entirely sure. I've seen how to solve this now. What do you want to do? What's the matter with me today? Hmm. Not sure. If I take the part the the hint. Maybe I need to do it in reverse. No, it won't make sense if it's in reverse, right? Because you need to wait it like from left to right. Hmm. Um, we can do it this way. Okay, so right now, if I do it like this, it does an H here, it does that here, it does that here. I don't know if it should be this way or that way. Mm, this way. Uh, okay. I'm not sure what this makes it be. I guess it's also part of the problem. Right, because... The light is shoving it down. Hmm. Um, hmm. Let me, let me think it on. Oh, I took the hint too. Hello, Mr. Penguin. Uh, okay, so once again, we have an H, we have an O, we have an E. This one for certain are correct. Well, except maybe they need to be flipped over, but this should be correct. Is this OG Hardwell? Uh, sure. <laughs> uh, how do I? Well, it's definitely one of them. <laughs> uh. Alright, how do I draw the P, I guess, is the issue. If I draw the light to it...
Would it be like this right now? I guess that's the problem. I don't know how the P would look like. I know it should be this piece because we do have like the the lion with the P, right? Okay, so let's say it's like this, right? If it's like this, then the P will be. Like this, maybe. Yeah, which should be incorrect. And if we do this, uh. button I mean that might be the case but <sighs> the reason why I keep putting it on the side is because it makes more sense to me on the side but the thing is the light won't be the light usually only shows like in this area when you do like uh, this kind of thing. Right? This is this is the kind of thing we will have. But the problem is there will also be a line here and here. So this will be the actual shape. That's why I'm kinda don't know if that's correct. Shape wise, it will create the shape that we need because this is an, a, a big opening which will be here. Then we have the tail, which is this. But the lower part doesn't really make sense. If I think about it differently, what if I make it all black? Is it easier to see it now? Not really. I don't think I changed. Let's start out. No, no. It's hard for me to see it. Now. Okay, so this is the one. Alright. You did it. Hope. Yeah, but again, they, hmm, like they show the way that I mentioned it, that it only like marks the, the squares close to it. But the P, the P isn't really, hmm, the P isn't really the way that you think it should be because the line to the right should have been lit up as well. So I think I think it's a bit messed up. I think this part is a bit messed up. Uh, the palm spread out the letters when the light from the candles shone to. The light of hope is flickering gently. Yeah, this part is a bit of a bullshit. Not alright. So it turns out the word hope very ingenious. I could have got the answer without even coming into the room. That's strange though, where is it? 
What is the matter? We have solved the puzzle now. Shouldn't we be making our way to the next room? Not yet. After we solved the other two puzzles, we discovered a curious note, didn't we? Both times. Oh yes, that uh, gibberish. So you think there should be another note <laughs> around here somewhere too? Most probably yes. Aha, found it. Is it is there in a tiny writing on the back of one of the the panels. Look, Ernest, if you please. Uh, oh yes, miss at once. Um, the Rosenberg stones shone like a beacon of hope, a promise of wealth restored. The man thought that mercy was upon him until... Until... That's it, miss. The sentence is com incomplete, I'm afraid. Oh no. Now I really want to know what happens next. Did you hear that, Pip? Yes, the Rosenberg, Rosenberg stones. A beacon of hope. It's all too clear. Gah. I had to live uh, on a cliffhanger like this, but we are out of the running now, right? Yes, we failed to solve the puzzle, which means we have lost, for that reason I'm out. I see, you all attempted the puzzle, but not all of you succeeded in solving it. Those who failed to solve the puzzle have lost, it is the end for you. You must now leave the room and follow the road to ruin. Those are the rules you all agree to. There is a lot of talk of failure and losing, isn't there? Yes, well, we've lost our fortunes, PNS. But I hope, but I won't let that stop uh, me doing my job as, as a male. Ha ha ha. That's the spirit. Maybe this time I'll let the business go anyway. I've always wanted to make my own movie. Come on, Pip. It is this way for us. Yes, alright. They look almost pleased that they've lost everything. Well, I suppose if there is more to your life than money, perhaps you won't mind too much. Hmm. Um, Miss Layton, Cheryl. What's up, uh, Pinstrips? Well, um, hmm. Let's move on to the next room, shall we? Yes, the next room is the last one, isn't it? Perhaps we will finally learn what this puzzle game is all about. Let's get back out to the hall then. Good idea. Another piece. Oh. The third room Captain Co entered was the Green Door Hope Room. It contained candles and some mysterious panels that spelled out the word hope when rearranged. Yeah, this puzzle. I didn't like this puzzle. It's a bit messed up. It's a bit messed up. If they like, let us uh, see how the light ca is being cast, then to be better. Uh, here we are again, then. So let's see, which room should we turn next? There is only one left. Ha ha ha! I know, I know. I was pulling your leg shell. It is the treasury, then. Yes, we are the, the Rollenberg room. The treasury and the hope room. This last room has an altogether different feel to it, doesn't it? And such a welcome, welcoming name. It is rather ominous, certainly. Well, we are not about to bow out now, are we? Not after coming so far. Of course, Ernest. So shall we? Yes, through the purple door, and into the treachery. Alright, let's go.
Hey, someone forgot to turn on the lights. All these portraits on the walls are very impressive, aren't they? But the room feels... Feels, not feels? The room feels rather dejected. With uh, the top end furniture and empty frames laying around. Oh, there is someone over there in the gloom. I, I, I can't make out who... Don't worry, Ernest, this is the last room. And we are also down to the last of the dragons. Which means this must be Madame Doublet. Oh, oh yes, of course. How, how silly of me. Looks like the old great dame hasn't spotted us yet. No, not here. And it is not here either. Where on earth is this wretched puzzle? I can't find it anywhere. She's snarling more than usual. Madame Doublet is considered the leader of the Seven Dragons. I imagine she is also the wealthiest of them all. Which means she stands to lose more than anyone else in this game. I expect that's why she's so determined. Hmm, I wonder. I think we should go and have a ward. C come along, you two. Let's have a ward. Good evening, Madame Doublet. We were wondering where you disappeared to. Catriel, darling, how long have you been in this room? I thought as no one else had chosen it. Uh, I thought that no one else had chosen it, I'd be able to find the puzzle in my own time, but no such luck. I'm starting to wonder if our elusive host hasn't actually forgotten to set up uh, the puzzle in here. I, I, I doubt that's the case, madame. Yes, Lord Adams strikes me as a very particular person. I'm sure there is a puzzle in here somewhere. Oh, this is all most vexing. I simply have to solve the puzzle. Solve all the puzzles and take possession of the Richmond fortune. Otherwise, I... I would break the promise I made all those years ago. Break the promise? Oh. Madame Doublet, it seems that you... It seems that all of you... All, all seven of you present here tonight have a profound connection to Lord Adams and to Mr. Richmond himself. Oh, Catriel, darling, I'm not at little liberty to speak of that. It is a secret that only we dragons know. Please, forget all that, all that and help me locate this confounded puzzle. The party must go on. Very well, madame. We will help you look. Alright. Well, that's a puzzle. Ernest, look at this painting. Oh yes, miss, it's marvelous, isn't it? No, I don't mean the picture itself, I'm talking about the frame. There is a puzzle hidden in it. What square... What square did that? Okay. Pop up prayer dogs too. Oh, this thing again. Uh, there are paradox even in these homes, which are connected to by tiles on the ground to pop up, blah blah blah. Okay, so basically we need to make all of them peep out of the holes. Alright. Alright, and uh, let's see. So I can make that and that, but then we will have a problem with this one. Is there another? Is there another way to do it? If I make okay, let's let's try it out. Yeah, no, I'm missing one here. Um. Thank you. 
think I actually made tools. <laughs> uh, okay. Um. Back to the same situation as before, basically. Okay, so we moved it to up here. If I could somehow isolate the prayer dogs over here, I can just do that and then finish it. But I need to find a way to isolate it. Um, okay. There we go. Okay. This is an interesting one. And that's how it's done. You did it. You 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 did it. I'm sorry, I'm, uh, I need I need my water. There are paradox peeping out of every hole. Hunger won't put over shyness. The shortest way to solve it is in the four steps. Okay, let me get some water real quick. Okay. What do you think about having a portrait of me on the wall at the office? A really big one, you know, so it makes a big statement. Alright, thanks, that's a spiffing idea, miss. Simply spiffing. No, some of us have to sleep there, you know. Really? I don't. You don't like the, that idea? What a shame. I thought it would really add something. I don't think it will add anything, but sure. Okay, nice. Okay, a torture symbolized by a soul. That's a beautiful picture, isn't it? The red patterns are so vivid and bright. I rather like the simplicity of it being only one flower. Yeah, what about this? Do you like it too, our pin strips? Or do you need the winding up? Wind, wind, winding up. Oh, so, you know, it's just uh, there is something about this picture. I know what you mean, Ernest. Ah, yes, that old picture. It was one of the... one of Maximilian's favorites, you know. It is uh, rather charming, isn't it? All those people holding hands around the flower like that. It was the symbolism he enjoyed, I believe. He was always one of the... He was always one for walking together. Hand in hand towards a common goal. 
He liked helping his fellow men, you see. Mr. Richmond always helps people. Did you know Mr. Richmond well, madame? Oh yes, Maximilian and I and my late husband who cross friends. Such a shame, and they are no longer with us. So I didn't mean to bring up a painful memory for you. Oh, no, no, no. That is quite alright, darling. I'm very thick-skinned, you know. That's a terrible joke, but okay. Uh, okay, now let's see if this gives me the puzzle. There's something very enriching about the companion. Ah. Oh, you're an art critic. Sorry, I thought you were a gut following detective. Don't be sarcastic, Cheryl. I have, uh, I have rather a lot to say about art, you know. You've got a lot to say about a lot of things. Oh, wait, this picture. Give it a rest now, cat. I get it. You like the flower. No, it's uh, the frame, I think. Oh, please, don't start waxing lyricals about the frame now. Attention, mom. What the hell? Well, look at that. It was upside down. It spun around when I pushed on it. There must be some kind of mechanism behind it. Hmm. Still, apart from spinning the picture, nothing much happened, did it? Wait, look at the other picture. Uh, what? It flipped over. And did I imagine it, or did that drawer just pop open as well? I think this deserves a closer inspection. Just a few weird panels and some kind of some kind in this doorway. I wonder what they are used for, but well, let's uh, leave them for now and take a closer look at the picture. Phew. And I'd, a, anyone else having trouble seeing what it's supposed to be? Don't tell me, cat. This is art. Is that it? I don't know. Even from an artistic perspective, it doesn't seem quite right. It's lacking some somehow. I said, darling, have you located the puzzle? Oh, I'm afraid not, madame. Just a, a rather unusual picture. Mm, yes, unusual indeed. Even as an abstract painting, it feels rather disjoint. Yes, wait, disjoint? That's it. The picture itself is a puzzle. It's definitely puzzling, but I'm starting to think all art is puzzling. No, Cheryl. We will see what the picture is after we've solved the puzzle. Alright. Let's see what we need to do here. Puzzle of Betrayal. Let's put this picture back together. Slide each of the pieces in the picture into the right position. And then place the large piece outside of the picture into the empty space. You can move the pieces around by sliding them, but you can't move them outside the picture. They also cannot be overlapped or be moved to each other. Okay, so basically this is a sliding puzzle. Okay. Uh, I don't even know what I'm looking at. Okay, well, let's figure it out, I guess. Okay, these two go together, apparently.
Okay, these two kinda look like they go together as well. Uh, what else can I do here? Uh huh. Uh, okay. Yeah, that seems right. Yeah, all right, cool. So, in conclusion, that's a relief. I wasn't entirely sure. You did it. The picture has been perfectly put back together. It is a very sad picture. Even seven people with their backs turned on another. It's a very sad picture of seven people with their backs turned on another. Which obviously represents uh, these guys' uh, situation. Look, now we have solved the puzzle. The picture has taken form. It appears to be a group of people turning their backs on another. Gosh. Perhaps it was uh, better in pieces. Isn't there something written here, Ernest? Oh yes, you're right. In tiny letters, here on the edge of the frame, it re I will read it out. Seven snakes in the grass snatch the stones away, and treachery left the man to die in obscurity. Treachery? Sad as the image is, I fear it portrays the events of real life. To unite and to help one another is a wonderful thing, yet the truth is, treachery and betrayal are ever present. People compete, people cheat, and people deceive. In the end, only the winners of this world find happiness. That may be true, madame. But it is a terrible thing not to believe in your fellow men. My dear boy, you are quite naive. Believe in no one but yourself. That's a lesson I've learned over the years, and it has served me well. It is the basis of my enviable social status and my fortune. A gentleman once taught me, any means to an end if it serves your, pu your purpose. I've carried that maxim with me and practiced it to the letter, in honor of my mentor. Which is precisely why I cannot afford to be beaten at this juncture, and yet... It seems this room has claimed its victim. A right on cue. For the losers in this game, darkness awaits. Kindly live along the road to ruin. Oh dear me, no. This is a calamity. I can't lose it all. I can't. I was planning to expand my empire outside of London, to reach every corner of the British Isles, but now I'm out. Try to remain calm, madame. I'm afraid the rules are the rules. Let's get you on the road to ruin now. I will come with you, don't, don't worry. You will? But Miss Layton, you don't need to go that way. Only losers have to live. The truth is, I got that last puzzle wrong as well. So for that reason, I'm afraid I'm out. Sorry, Ernest. Sorry, Cheryl. Miss? You... you got it wrong? Yes. So I have to follow the road to ruin as well now. Good luck with the rest, uh, you two. Good luck with the rest, she, sa she says. Wow, tense. Hmm. I wonder about that. Treachery. The final room Cat and Cold shows the purple door, treachery. Behind the picture of people holding hands was another. A group turning their backs on one of their number. That's a different exit than before. It's like a full-on door. <laughs> Interesting.
Ain't toasty. Sure, let's go. An underground passage to take losers out of play in the puzzle party. I say, it is very dark down here, isn't it? And it feels most uncomfortable underfoot. I would have thought a carpet would have uh, been laid down at the very least. Well, shall we try walking anyway? If we join the others, we failed. Hey, wait. Sorry, was that you calling out, eh, madame? No, I did not utter a word. If my ears were deceiving me, I could have sworn I just heard a dog bark. A dog? Ah, I see. Cat, it's me. Cheryl, what are you doing here? This way seemed more exciting. What about Ernest? A master of espionage like me can slip down here unnoticed. But if Pinstrips tried it, Adams would be onto us straight away. So I didn't tell him, I just slipped away. <laughs> okay. A master of espionage? I'm impressed, Cheryl. So, spill the beans, get. Have you got a plan? Uh, you've, you've got a plan, haven't you? Of course, an English gentleman is never a beaten, Cheryl. Merely inconvenienced. Come on then, what have you got in mind? The Richmond court is hiding a secret, I'm sure of it. Being out of the running in the puzzle game gives me a chance to explore. As plans goes, that's what I've come to expect from you. Still, I suppose I can help you look for this secret, whatever it is. Ah, my trusty canon companion. Let's start by looking for clues here, along the so-called road to ruin. Remember our motto, Fido? Any mystery if solved. Fido? What is the reference for that? Hmm, interesting. Careful where you put your pole shell, there is a lot of uh, loose rubble on the floor here. Chandeliers and ground portraits in the rooms. And they can't even put some concrete down in here. Oh effort. It's all part of Adam's plan. He wants to make the losers feel the gravity of the situation. So you think the slide dog arranged it to be like this? Yes. I wonder if he arranged this puzzle to be here too. Alright. All shapes and sizes. There are some symbols on a mural inside some ruins, but the right hand side of the symbol at the bottom is missing. Assuming that the symbol at the bottom is created in the same way, as the symbol at the top, which would it be? Choose the correct one from the four options. Huh? There are some symbols in the ones of this ruins, but the right hand side of the symbol at the bottom is missing. Assuming the symbol at the bottom is created in the same way as the symbols on the Oh, which one would it be? Oh, uh, what? <laughs> oh. 
Okay, do all, do all, the, all the shapes fit into the... the area. So the only question is... How am I supposed to decipher what's going on with the other ones to apply on this one? Uh, hmm. If you break each one of them into two, does it help me somehow? Uh, not really, you know. Well, the shape seems to be close or we try to guess. So it's probably not C. Uh, I don't have uh, any proof for it, but. I don't know, it feels like it should be closer. Probably. I'm not sure what the rules I'm following here. Uh, are they supposed to represent like a letter or something? There must be a pattern between them that like, should be applied to like, uh, the lower one, but I don't understand the pattern. But like, one of them have that least, little, like, little symbol inside them, and the other one doesn't. One is circular, while another isn't. Also, one of them is symmetrical, kind of. Well, the other one isn't. We have a clock, we have a flower, we have two triangles in a line between them. Is there any information about uh, the other star? There are some symbols on the mural inside some buttons, but the other inside the symbol, but uh, I the symbol is the bottom. At the bottom is created in the same way as the symbols at the top. Which one will it be? Choose the correct one from the four options. I don't think the... Oh, I can't, uh, I can't draw over them. I don't think the eye and the, the stuff matter. I think it's only the upper ones. Because looking at uh, the other symbols literally means nothing for them. If I had to guess, I would say B. So let's go with B. I've seen how to solve this now. Okay. Not good, Catriel, not good. 
Alright. Bad luck. Try to find something the symbols have in common. Do they have anything in common? I mean, the only other option I can think about is... Uh, is A, because... Like, the, the way that I think about it, I think about it like uh, as a drawing board. Like, you know, the one with, like, the, the dials. You need to, like, uh, move around. So when you use the dial, you can make the upper one. Like, the, the left upper one. And you can make the right one. But... Sometimes when you try to close off stuff, you might, like, deviate to the side. So that's, like, I assume this might be, like, B, but... I don't know. I don't know. I definitely don't think it's C. So right now it's either between A or, e or D. The only thing I can think about is that symmetrical seems to be closed off and non-symmetrical seems to be open. Which might point us to D, but... Hmm. Let's try. That's what happens. I've seen how to solve this now. Oh, yeah, I, I don't know what the rules are. It's probably A then. Is an interesting one. What's the matter with huh. me today? Apparently it's C, but how? Is it saying because it's two different lines that it's two different shapes? And that's why this is our indication? That doesn't make sense. Why? Huh? And I need an explanation. I see how to solve this now. And that's how it's done. And an explanation. Please, please tell me what's going on. Now. You did it. Now you know how the mural looked when it was complete. The symbols are formed by shrinking the right side to have its original size. Huh? <laughs> huh? I mean, I guess I I can see it for the half circle, but I don't see it for the other piece. If anything, if anything doesn't make sense with the other piece because the other piece have a triangle shape, right? So if you have to cut it in the middle and like make another triangle sheep, they won't be symmetrical. And they are symmetrical. I I I don't get this puzzle. The logic is weird here. Yeah. Okay. Perhaps Adams did put this puzzle here, so the losers wouldn't be bored while they are waiting. Well, if that's the case, it sounds like he might be of better breeding men than I thought. 
<laughs> ah, there is an opening here. Look, for ventilation, I imagine. Hmm, let me see. Oh, it goes a long way back. It might even be connected to somewhere else in the building. Could you swing a cat in there, do you think? Uh, uh huh. Even if you could fit, there is a metal grill just inside. You might be able to persuade that to move though. No chance. Don't give up so easily, Shell. You never know unless you try. You're not seriously going to try to pull the thing out, are you? You're not going to beat me, Grill. You did it? I don't believe it. Ha ha ha. We can climb in we can climb in there now. You are stronger than you look. Remind me never to try pulling on the lid. It was old and bent anyway, or already. If uh, truth be told. Anyway, never mind. The wise and where's where falls. I'm going in. Wait, wait for me. Good gracious! I couldn't possibly. I mean, I literally couldn't possibly. <sighs> I shall have to proceed along this miserable passageway alone now. I suppose. Oh. Hmm. Where are we now, I wonder? Well, this is a pretty impressive room, especially coming from that tunnel we just called though. So many books. It's like a little library. Perhaps it, this was a uh, Mr. Richmond's study. Sniff sniff. There's something different about this room. Yes, the other rooms we've been in have been well looked after, but this one... It is dusty and full of cobwebs, and what a mess. It is walls and your desk. <laughs> Thank you, Shell. And all these curious bits of machinery on the floor. It looks as if there has been... It looks as if someone has been using this room as an office and a workshop of sorts. I wonder if... Hmm, I won't be a moment, Shell. Stay. Where are you going? I just went to check uh, the door to the room. It was locked from, the, from this side. I have unlocked it now, though. You mean it was locked from the inside? What? Presumably someone, somebody didn't want anybody else coming in here. Who though? I don't think. I don't know. But perhaps we can find something in here that gives a link between Mr. Richmond and the mysterious Lord Adams. Let's look around and see what we can turn up. Alright. Well, obviously we have the writing on the door and we have this in... And the coin. This telephone is very old fashioned, isn't it? Hello, hello. Oh, the line is connected. It is. But this place hasn't been lived in for years. Why would the phone still be hooked up? It's clear that somebody has been using this, the place. According to all the urban legends, the, this place has been deserted since Mr. Richmond's death. Rumors are that it is haunted. But far from ghosts walking these corridors now, it would appear somebody very real has been inhabiting the, the palace. Rumors are like tumors, they spread fast and do nothing. And do no good. Uh, well, it's certainly worth remembering that not everything people say is the truth. Is the truth. 
Okay. Okay, this is where we came from. I don't see anything else there. Oh, look, there are some letters here. Who are they addressed to? Let's see. G. Dublay, P. T. Barnon, P. Lowondina, L. Wait, J. Sloan, C. Chance, and M. Fullhold. Oh, all of the seven dragons, then? What do they say inside? I will read the one out. I, Maximilian Richmond, will never absolve you of your guilt. One day I will take back what is rightfully mine. Everything that you stole from me. They appear to be letters written by the late Mr. Richmond. They can't be. He died ten years ago, didn't he? Well, it is true. These letters don't look like they were written that long ago. So who did write them then? I don't know. No, not yet. But it's becoming incurs it's increasingly undeniable. The Seven Dragons have some dark history with Mr. Richmond. Okay. What the hell is that? Huh? Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, I got the coin, I guess. That's what this is. Aha! Look, there is uh, some writing on the wall here. Some graffiti. Someone has uh, graffiti on the wall in a room like this. Dirty mongrel. I don't think it's just uh, graffiti. Ernest, uh, read it out, would you? Your dog dog's body isn't here, remember? Oh no, uh, of, of course. Sorry, force of habit. I always have Ernest uh, read for me. You always have, you always have Ernest do everything for you, especially the manual stuff. Well, I suppose I would have to do it myself then. So, deep underground, I'm under the ground of the Rosenberg, a great treasure relay, a beacon of hope until treachery ruined it all. What do you think? You are, de you are the detective. Well, it contains the name of each of the four rooms we are to go into. Rollenberg, Treasury, Hope and Treasury. So you think this is where Adam's growth is an inspiration for naming the rooms? Possibly, yes. I think he's trying to tell us something. Or rather, I think he's trying to tell the Seven Dragons something. Okay. So we only have three clues left, apparently. Well, right, let's see what this is. I can look here as well. Hmm. Let's see what this is. Hmm. The emblem on the spines of these books look familiar, don't you think? 
Ah, they are the same symbols that were displayed on the doors of the puzzle rooms. Exactly, a mountain of gems, a torch, and a sword. And just those four books look like they are sticking out a bit for me. Yes, suspicious. Perhaps they operate some kind of mechanism. Okay, so I need to do it by order. That's fine, I remember the order, I just want to test it. Cat, look! The thing on the wall, there just moved. The ram's head, stonework, Yes, it is revealed so it is revealed something. Hmm, papers of some kind. Let me see, let me see too. Dated ten years ago, before Mr. Richmond's death, that would be Show me. Oh Hey. We discovered something of a revelation here, Sherm. If what it says in these pages is true, the Richmond fortune is... Hmm. We need to investigate to find out whether this information is reliable or not. Ah, pin strips will have let me see. Well, pin strip is not here. Events of 10 years earlier. In Richmond's study were documents showing a clear link between himself and the Seven Dragons, some 10 years ago. Well, from what we've discovered in here, it seems very likely that someone has been using the place recently. We still don't know who, though. Adams, is it? Probably, and of course there is something else we have learned. Mr. Richmond clearly had some dealings with uh, the Seven Dragons ten years ago. Oh yeah, those seven know something alright, I'm sure of it. I still don't get who this Adams fellow is, though. Is he connected to Richmond somehow? That I don't know yet. But if he really has located the Richmond fortune, then I think it's safe to assume they must be connected in some way. It is the only thing that would make sense. So how about we carry on exploring in the other rooms? Perhaps we will find a hint that gives away the true identity of Lord Adams. You want to snoop around more? And you do realize we can't possibly cover every room in a place this size, don't you? Oh, stop jabbering, Shell. You know, Ernest never questions me like this. Yeah, I wonder why. Oh, before we go, I just need to make a call. You're going to use the phone? Who are you calling? Please, don't tell me it's a hair, appo hair appointment. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, I just remembered something important that I need to arrange. That's all. I, I won't be long, Shell. Ah, uh, she's unbelievable. They're all done. You should have heard the reaction when I said I was calling from Richmond Court. I can't imagine. I, I can imagine. So let's go and explore some other rooms, Kill Boy. Man, the poor dog. Poor, poor dog. Alright, I believe I went over everything here, so... Should be good problem. 
Yeah, let's go by him. Oh, this room seems kind of different to the others, doesn't it? Oh, isn't it adorable? It looks like a, a little boy's room. Is it worth having a sniff around, do you think? Hmm, I don't know. I don't imagine it will, it will discover anything air shattering in here. But still, we could have a quick look. It's a cow. Have you seen this toy car here? To toy car here, Kurt? Uh huh, yes, you can see this was a little boy's room straight away, can't you? There is even a little boy's puzzle, look. Alright. Time for puzzle. Starting line. It is time, everybody. The race final is about to begin. Good luck to you all. This is the starting, starting lineup of the race. The cars each have different letters on them. Can you look at the start area and work out which letter goes between S and A? Is that supposed to mean something? Hold on. It's time everybody, the race is finally about to begin. Good luck to you all. This is the starting lineup of all the race. Uh, of the race, not all the race. Of the race. The cars each have different letters on them. Can you look at the start area and work out which letters goes between S and A? I assume it's supposed to like mean something, like a, a wall or something. Uh... Am I supposed to know that? If I put a D there, or I put an E there, C, B, C. Okay, if I put an F, will be. G H I M I guess the problem is I don't I don't know how I'm supposed to look at it. Like, am I supposed to read from S or am I supposed to read from B? Am I supposed to go S and then the letter after? The letter after is like the, the question mark or B, so. Hmm. Oh, well, hello there, uh, Mr. Brandy Holmes. How are you doing? I was uh, Chain Echoes, nice. Oh, you're playing uh, one of the JRPGs that came out uh, recently, right? I saw I saw some playthrough of it uh, in another stream. How do you like it? The person that I saw playing it uh, actually liked it quite a bit. It's awesome, okay, so you like it as well. Hmm. So far, two people say that uh, it's awesome. 
like uh, is it like uh, like from the graphics it kind of reminds me like a corner trigger and stuff well not not the same graphics but like last time and everything it kind of reminds me of corner trigger but I have no idea what uh, the game is actually like Yeah, Reminiscence of Common Trigger or Final Fantasy VI. Hmm, okay. Well, hopefully you had a uh, some fun game with it. It does look like a good game. As far as what I'm doing, I'm stuck. I've gotten to this puzzle. And I have no idea what they want from me. Uh, tons of convenient features though, full HP mana after each battle, save anywhere. Oh, that's very nice actually. So you don't need to like use an in or uh, all of that other bullshit that a lot of all of the other games uh, make you use all the time. That's nice. Or like the, the healing station, like you know, you need to go to the save station in order to heal, and then you like go around and like uh, heal from that. I always wonder why they they do it in this game, but I guess it's like part of the difficulty. So like if you don't have uh, any healing items or tents or whatever, you will keep uh, running around <laughs> dying. So yeah, I guess uh, I guess it's just like to make it more difficult. So yeah. Yeah, but anyway, like I was saying, I'm stuck in this puzzle. So if you have any idea, by all means, feel free to to lay it on me. Because I'm not sure what, in, what I'm supposed to read it, or how I'm supposed to look at it. T. Why T? Like, what, what is the reasoning? STA But how what? Huh? T is between the T is between in the star Is that the logic they work with? Huh? But then what what is BC standing for? Can you look at the start area and work out which letter? A complete debate with cars being nothing. Man, if this is the answer, this game is bullshit. This puzzle is bullshit. It is the answer. <laughs> Man, this is such a bullshit answer. You did it. Start. The answer was right there on the starting line. The letter between S and A is T. The question's mark on the yellow car had nothing to do with uh, this particular mystery. This puzzle is bullshit. I'm sure this room occupant must have enjoyed playing with this little girl. Man, they have some uh, some questions. Uh, well, some some puzzles in this game that are bullshit. This is one of them. Oh, another empty frame, and another, and another. It's not just one then. I'm starting to think the kid who lived here in this room was a bit. Funny. It seems to me that someone had deliberately gone around and removed all the pictures. Hmm. Interesting. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Hmm. 
That's interesting. This photo frame has no picture in it. Yeah, kind of strange to decorate your room with photo frames, but no photos. It may well have had a photograph in it, of course, but then it could have been removed for some reason. Hmm. All right. I think the only thing we have left is the puzzle on the, the desk, so we should be good. Uh, there is a set of picture books on the desk here, look. The one on top is about animals. And there is a name inside the cover. Hmm. Miles Richmond? Miles? Perhaps uh, Mr. Richmond's son, or more likely grandson. And judging by the reading material and other things on his desk, I will say Miles was a great animal lover and found of toys. A nice boy, no doubt. And that has exactly what to do with the, the case. I'm allowed a little diversion every now and then, aren't I, Sharon? Not if we look to work out the connection between the Richmond, Fortune, and the Adams, no. If we are done in here, let's sniff around in another room. Yes, alright, oh, hmm, that's strange. You mean the lamp in the middle of the desk? It wouldn't help your handwriting. That's for sure. It's a puzzle shell. It was hidden from you from view. Alright, let's see what we have. Here. Children Jigsaw. There is some sad looking animals scattered on the table in this children's room. Can you place the animal pieces in the frame on the table to complete the puzzle? Slide the pieces to move them and place them in the frame so that, so that they don't overlap each other. You can also rotate them by touching them. Okay. Let's see. Let's keep this one for a second away. Um, okay, to change some stuff around. Uh, yeah, that's not going to be. Okay, so these two seems to have to go together. Which means that like something like this have to be happening here. I don't make sense. Yeah no, something something is wrong here. These two pieces fit together, but I think they need to have a different uh, location. There we 
então. I've seen how to solve this now. And that's how it's done. You did it. The animal puzzle is complete. The animals somehow seem a lot happier now that they are all back together. It's a book. Well, that's unexpected. Completing the puzzle opens the door. What an interesting desk. I've certainly never seen a puzzle look like that before. Anything in the drawer? An old book about an explorer, by the looks of it. Presumably, this was a favorite book of Miles, if he kept it in his special puzzle lock drawer. Attention mark. What is it, Cat? The book. Lord Adams. Hmm, I... I think I might know who. Time to solve the mystery. And finish the game. Adam's to identity. Okay. Okay, it's complete. A single children's book about a famous explorer that was found in the young Miles Richmond's bedroom revealed the true identity of Adams to cats. Okay. I've worked it out. I know who Lord Adams really is. You do? I do indeed. The mystery is history. Who is it then? Who is behind this crazy puzzle solving party? Well, Shell, if you haven't mastered sit yet, sit, sit now, would be a good time. Because the truth is... Ladies and gentlemen, attention mark. Not now, Adams. The party is over. Would the losers kindly make their way back to the hall? I would like to get a good view of you all. Now that you've lost everything. Ha 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 Back to the hall now. He's worse than a ship dog. The way he's herding everyone around. Don't worry, it suits the situation perfectly. I would like to speak to everyone together. It is time to reveal the truth behind this puzzle solving mister puzzle solving party. So, we are all together again. In other words, we all failed. So what? Every one of us has to give up our fortunes, every last penny. It... it is simply beyond the pale. Well, I for one have no regrets. I went into this with my eyes open after all. Yes, yes. I'm with Mayor Loanida. Ah, Cat, you're back too, huh? Good. Miss Layton, thank goodness you're all right. You have me terribly worried. Worried? About what? So, you were all defeated by my puzzles. That concludes the contracts nicely. <laughs> you Ruined. Utterly ruined. <laughs> ruined. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but those contracts are all null and void. Null and void? What the dickens are you all doing here? Inspector Hastings, what... what are you doing here? Ah, thank you for coming, Inspector. You're right on cue. Come on, Kate. What's going on? Why have you called me here? I fully intend to explain everything, and I'd like you to be a witness to what transpires here. 
A witness? I'm not nicking anyone, then. Cat, are you saying you've... Confined this mystery to history? Indeed I have. In fact, I've solved all the mysteries connected with this palace. Huh? Perhaps we should start by identifying the one common factor that links the seven of you. All of you were at one time members of a diamond mining concern, weren't you? And you struck the jackpot. In fact, it's the money from those diamonds which formed the basis of all your fortunes and allowed you to succeed in your respective business ventures. It's what made you all who you are today. The trouble is, what if your diamond mine was actually on Richmond property? Are you making all this up, Cat? If Richmond turned out to be the rightful owner of the mine, all seven of you would automatically be ruined, of course. Wow. It would seem that the mastermind behind tonight's escapade, Lord Adamas, that is, is in some way connected to Richmond. And moreover, that he's intent on exacting revenge on those who robbed him of his wealth. Cat, I'm gonna have to stop you right there. The place we uncovered the diamonds definitely wasn't on Richmond land. Is that so? Or is that just what you all like to tell yourselves? Huh, don't be ridiculous. Ridiculous? Isn't that just what this whole puzzle party is? Yet you all agreed to take part. Was that to appease your own guilt? The truth is you're taking part in this charade under duress, isn't it? I, uh... I, uh, no. Why don't we move on to the real puzzle about tonight's proceedings? The identity of our host, Lord Adamas. Certainly a rather exceptional character. You can say that again. The self-confessed multi-millionaire Adamas is really... You! What? Uh-huh. Ernest Greaves. No more deceit. Pinstripes? Miss Layton, what are you talking about? How could you possibly think I was... Oh, what's the use? No doubt you figured everything out anyway, haven't you? Yes, it's true. I am Adamas. Be a mongrel's uncle. You're really the last surviving member of the Richmond line, aren't you? The eighth grandchild of Maximilian Richmond, Miles Richmond. Who saw it coming? I literally didn't see anything coming at all. He was just acting weird the entire time, for no reason whatsoever. You decided to use the urban legend of Richmond that rose up here in London as a means to take revenge on the seven dragons here tonight. Come on, Pinstripes. Tell me she's barking up the wrong tree. Goodness me. Can he really be that young boy? Ha-ha. <laughs> yes, it's all true. You've hit the nail on the head as usual, Miss Layton. But how did you know? How did you know it was me? Because of this. Where did you? It was in your old room, Miles. Ernest Shockleton, Surprise Explorer by Richard Greaves. The origin of your assumed name, if I'm not mistaken. Aha, uh -huh, okay. And all around this palace are little telltale signs of your duplicity. <gasps> How could I have made such an elementary mistake? And after I was so careful to dispose of all the portraits and photographs as well. I must say though, Ernest, you've excelled yourself preparing all these puzzles for everyone. But they were too easy to outsmart you, weren't they? I just cannot understand why someone as intelligent and good-natured as you would pursue such a worthless folly as revenge. I know. I know that revenge is pointless. 
but it was for Mama. I promised her. Your mother? When my Mama. grandfather went bankrupt, Mama was left with nothing. We had no one to turn to, not a soul. But Mama moved heaven and earth to keep me safe. Uh, Mama! Miles, I'm so sorry, darling, for you to have to suffer like this, when none of it is your fault. Don't worry. I'm quite all right, Mama. There's so much I wanted to show you. But we're practically destitute. And now I'm ill, too. I'm so sorry. Mama, I don't mind. I just want you to get well again. <laughs> yes, me too. But you know, Miles, you can be strong even on your own. <clears throat> Mama, I'm going to get it back. I'll get it all, I promise. I'm going to make them return it all. Every last thing they stole from us. I swear, one day, when I've made something of myself, I'll get them back for what they did to us. Oh, Miles, I... Mama! <laughs> Dear boy. In the end, it... All the stress and exhaustion... It was too much for her. I was only 12 at the time when I had to say goodbye to her forever. But I swore then... I'd keep my promise to take revenge on those who had wronged our family. I think you might have the wrong idea. So it was a promise. That's what drove you to these lengths. I had to see it through. I couldn't let her down, you see. But do you really think this is what she would have wanted? I, uh... Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. I hate to interrupt the art too hard, but Ernest Greaves, I mean, Miles Richmond, I'm placing you under arrest. And it looks like I'm gonna need to have a chat with all you dragons as well. I never thought the lot of you would be criminals. Wait, why... Why is he going to arrest him? He, he actually didn't really do anything criminal, at least not yet. Hmm. Oh, no. Now, now, Inspector Hasty. I think there may be another explanation. I... Hey. I wonder who the diamonds really belong to at the end of the day. I'm more confused than when I found out I was a dog. After all, everyone, the Earth's riches belong to us all, don't they? What are you on about? Cat, you're starting to sound like a hippie. <laughs> Catriel. Ten years ago, the land had already been repossessed. Maximilian Richmond had no further rights on the mine at that time. How's that? He failed to pay the tax levied on the land and lost his claim to it as a result. Ah. Uh. He must have kept the fact a secret so he could claim the diamonds from the mine were rightfully his. Shortly after that, however, he died. So you're saying the diamonds are nobody's? It wasn't these seven ladies and gentlemen who stole the diamonds from Richmond. If anything, it was the other way around. But... Yep, you misunderstood. Yes, that's as I thought. Thank you for investigating for me, Emiliana. I didn't do it as a favor to you. As I've told you countless times, Hard data is the quickest way to solve any case. <laughs> I'll try to bear that in mind. So, it's like I said. The Earth's riches belong to us all. The diamonds were nobody's. So the seven dragons here couldn't have stolen them. But that... <laughs> 
That means all we're looking at here is the antics you've been up to, Sunshine. Yep. I just don't understand. How could it be that way? Mama would have... Your mother knew, of course. No! Ernest, don't you see why she didn't tell you that you had it wrong? Why she didn't tell you the truth? No. Don't you think maybe it was to give you a focus? Isn't that what's kept you going all these years? I... Attention, Rock. I think your mother let you believe in this idea of revenge to give you strength. Knowing that you'd have to face life alone. And trusting that as you grew up, you would see the folly of it and eventually forget the idea. I... I, yes. Ah. Uh... Okay, that was build. <laughs> Listen, darling. You must follow your heart, don't waver. If you keep listening to what your heart tells you, I'm sure you'll see the light in the end. I'll make them all pay, Mama. I will. I'll make them all pay. I swear. I know, my darling boy, but please don't forget. First, you have to grow big and strong and make a man of yourself. I will. I'll be as big and strong and important as any of them. You'll see. That's my boy. You live your life, Miles. Make your mama proud. Show them all. What a great man you can be. So you mean, she never really wanted me to? I didn't see it. And now look what I've done. Oh, how could I have done something like this? Ernest, I'm sure you have made your mother proud. I'm sure you're just the man she hoped you would be. In every single way, she loved you. Mama, forgive me. Forgive me for not seeing what you meant. Well, cheer up, Ernest. Remember, the dragons have actually done nothing wrong. And I think you too can be considered blameless. Eh? Blameless? But... Isn't that Please. a bit of a stretch? Come on! What about all this palaver? The threats? The conniving? The intent to completely ruin these poor people? And you say he's blameless? Pull the other one. <laughs> well, take a look at that. See, Inspector? Eh? Uh... Cat? What do you mean? What? Well, I... I don't... Oh. Darling boy, we've been looking for you all these years. For me? Yes. We're all very much indebted to Lord Richmond, you see. It was thanks to him that the diamonds were discovered at all. Aye, he knew if he were the legal owner of the mine, any money he made would disappear on repaying his debts. So, he relinquished his claim on the land deliberately and arranged for us to discover the diamonds. He was a wise man. He saw the diamonds as London's future. He did not want the money squandered on personal loans. It was for you to use. He wished it as an investment for the city. That doesn't tie in. See, I thought he tried to reclaim his right to the mine. No. We tried to return the mine to Richmond. Without the money from the diamonds, the family faced certain ruin. We wanted to help. We couldn't bear to see the family fail. 
We tried desperately to save him by giving the mine and the diamonds back. But he steadfastly refused. No. We have heavy hearts knowing that we failed you. And I invented the Richmond legend. I couldn't bear for that great family to be associated with financial ruin. So I concocted a story about a great fortune hidden somewhere in this old house. So now you see, my dear. Everyone was extremely fond of your grandfather. I done. <laughs> That's a nice ending. I actually like this. We all came here today in the knowledge that Miles must be behind this puzzle party. But none of us ever suspected that it was you, Ernest. I had no idea about it. I'm sorry. I'm so very sorry. Miles. Let's start afresh. Yes. Your grandfather and your mother would have wanted that. You're all right. <laughs> Thank you. Come, my boy. Now I look, the resemblance is striking. You're right. I don't know why any of us didn't see it before. So... <laughs> Are you still going to arrest him? No one here would claim, Inspector, to have been harmed by Ernest. Hmm. All right. <laughs> now, why ever are you still crying, dear boy? Cat? <laughs> I'm just so happy. Well, Cat, I've got to hand it to you this time. I didn't see any of that coming. You really did teach an old dog new tricks. You should know. The truth is stranger than fiction. <laughs> <laughs> That's a dumb way to finish it, alright? So Lord Adam's puzzling little party came to an end. As did the vengeful thoughts he had so long harbored for the dragons. But Ernest will always be Ernest to me, not Miles Richmond. And I have insisted he continues to serve as my assistant. The beans don't empty themselves, I'm told. So together, we share us three, we'll continue to solve London's mysteries. And there we go, we got our credits! Alright! It was a nice game, it definitely wasn't uh, as good as the other ones, but uh, I did like uh, the way that they wrapped up the the final uh, the final case or the story that was a nice ending but as far as puzzle goes I, I definitely see why a lot of people complain about this game versus the other games the puzzle in the puzzles in this game sometimes are illogical like literally I had like a three or four puzzles I think that I had to look up and the answer didn't make any sense. Like you can literally answer it in several ways other than the answer they gave us. So I don't know. Also, a lot of the puzzles were very easy compared to the other games. Like that, that, the other games like had a lot of uh, very difficult puzzles that I literally had to like uh, make formulas and stuff. And with this one, I didn't really need to do any of that. Can't puzzle well anymore. No, I, I, I'm actually puzzling very well. I actually finished this game quicker than the other games. If anything, I found this game way easier. It's only the the logic, the four also logical puzzles that I found to be to be bad. But everything else uh, was rather easy. At least uh, relatively compared to like uh, all the other writing games. Like it's, uh, it's still good puzzles, don't, don't get me wrong, but uh, they are very easy. 
Like, you don't need to think too much to solve them. It's more like a... You see this thing? Okay. Do that, that, and that, and you can do it. While in the other thing... <laughs> in the other thing, you had, like, ridiculous puzzles that, like, you need to, like, to have made more than 100 moves in order to solve some of the puzzles. So, yeah. It's definitely a different base, yeah. Let's say it might be just a part of it. It's because I'm very used to the to the art puzzles. Again, I I went to all seven or eight games right now, so I've I've gotten used to the puzzles. So I think these puzzles is definitely different because again the the guy that like made the, the puzzle for this game is actually a new person because the, the puzzle master for all the previous games actually passed away. So that's why they had to use like a, a new puzzle master. So you know, it's a shame that we lost the, the puzzle master for the for the other games. But it was still nice. I still uh, still enjoyed it. I obviously do prefer a uh, Layton though versus this lady. Leighton, Leighton feels uh, more uh, my style of, uh, of uh, character rather than uh, Catriel. But, yeah. But who knows, they are going to make another Leighton game and it looks like they are going to bring back Leighton from the look of it. So we might get another game with uh, the actual Leighton. So yeah, 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 yeah. Also, that's a very good-looking uh, old emote, I have to say. <laughs> Slot Boomer actually looks very nice. I can also have my own, my own uh, old man. But I like this one. It's nice. Alright, let's see what we have now. In loving memory of Akira Tago. Akira Tago is the previous uh, puzzle master, if I remember right. Wow! <laughs> Miss Layton, look at all oh, the snow! <laughs> <laughs> well, the agency has been open for a month now. It's been an eventful start, but still no clue as to Dad's whereabouts. The mystery of the missing professor. Still not history, eh? <laughs> well, knowing Dad, wherever he is, he'll be engrossed in some extraordinary puzzle. I'm sure you'll find him. Hmm. Yes. I won't rest until I do. But you don't strike me as a daddy's girl cat. It just doesn't seem like you. I'm not. I just have to tell him I've solved the riddle he set me, you see? A riddle, miss? No? What riddle would that be, then? It's this. If you're not really my child, then who exactly are you? What? Dun, dun, dun. The final reveal. She's actually not Leighton's daughter. Congratulations, you have cracked every case and confined every mystery to history. Although you have reached the end of the story, there may well still be puzzles lurking that you didn't spot. See if you can go back and uncover every single one. Various extras have been added to the top secret area 
of the bonuses section. In accordance with the number of picarets you have picked up along the way. A milestone puzzle playroom has been added to Kate's conundrums in the bonus section. Create uh, an end game save file? Yes. Yes. Multiple new cases. Oh, okay. Okay, that's it apparently. Alright, so let us uh, see what we missed here. Okay, so I missed three puzzles and five coins, two puzzles, four puzzles, and two puzzles. Okay, so we have, uh, we have a few to go over. All the other ones I've uh, already gotten. So let's go over these ones real quick. Yes. Two puzzles, one coin. Okay, let's skip that. We don't need to read that. Alright. Uh, okay, so nothing here then. Alright, let's uh, go over there. Okay, looks like this is the place with the puzzle. Okay, this guy. Are you going to solve this puzzle for me, or what? Okay, that was very direct. Guess my age. Somebody has sent a mysterious challenge. See if you can work out my age. If you add 20 to my age, the number is divisible by my age. Okay. If you add together the tens and units of my age, they make five. What is the person age? Okay, so... Let's see. So it should be either 5 and 0 or 2 and 3, 3 or 2, or 6 and 1 or 1 and 6. These are the options. So now let's walk through it the other way around. Alright, so if we are saying that uh, if you add the tens and the... Uh, see if you can work out my age. If you add 20 to my age, the number is divisible by my age. Okay, so... 20 plus... 23... is not divisible. 20 plus 32... Um, should still not be divisible. Because it should be 50 something. So both of these options are out of the window. Okay, so now we have... Uh, 16 or 61. So 16 plus 20 is 36. 36. I don't think it's divided by 16. Yeah, it's not divided by 16. Uh, 61. Probably not either. 81. 81 divided by 61, yes, yeah, not going to happen. Okay, so now we only have 50 left to work with. I mean, it can also be 4 and 1. Let's see, 4 and 1. So. 41 or 14? 14 plus 20 is 34. 
Split by 14. Doesn't make sense. 41 plus 20. Won't make sense either. Okay, so it's either 5 or 50. So if it's 5, his age will be 25, and then 25 is split by 5, so that's correct. If it's 50, it doesn't make sense. So from the look of it, his age should be 5. Summons and still chance if you can work out my age. If you add 20 to my age, the number that is divisible by my age. If you add together the tens and units of my age, they make 5. Yeah, but the thing is, they say if you add the tens and the units of my age, they make 5. <laughs> so that's like a, another shitty trick, trick question. But it should be five, right? I've seen how to solve this now. Any yep. Or any Another tricky question. You did it. The only possible age the person could be is five. That's one clever five-year-old. Yeah. They like to to make a lot of like these shitty questions in this in, in this game. Hmm. That wasn't bad, actually. I suppose you've helped me out a bit. The words you're looking for are thank you, thank and you, in this order. Oh, um, alright then, thank you. Alright. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't a hard one, but it was another, like, a uh, shitty tricky one. <laughs> I like puzzles uh, being puzzles, not, not like a trick puzzle. I think I saw something here, right? Hmm, that's it. There we go. Didn't all Super Snitch have a puzzle stashed away in here somewhere? He did. A Maze Balls 2. Okay, I know how to do this one. This one is very uh, simple. Uh, let's do it in reverse. It'll be easier. All right. All right. All right. Okay, we'll do it in a second. Let's get this out of the way. Oh, I need to move okay. My bad. Alright. Oh wait, I need to... I need to put the 5 here. I confused the numbers for a second. Okay. 
There we go. If you'll entertain my idea here. That's a relief. I wasn't entirely sure. You did it. Well done. Inspector Hastings is clearly a very busy man, isn't he? Too busy to tidy up, that's for sure. Or too born idle. Okay, it looks like we are missing a coin around here, right? You are missing one coin. Where is the coin? Let's like click uh, toward the conversation real quick so I can see if uh, we have something hidden around there. Uh, There we go. Alright, so we got everything here. Alright, next. Okay, over there we have five puzzles and a bunch of coins. Skip that. Okay, it looks like we already have something here. We have a coin here. There it is. Okay, two coins over there. Coins down. Two coins and two puzzles of real. Nothing pops up. Okay, there it is. Okay, but where is... The other coin. Oh, there it is. All right. So puzzle number one. Yup, yup, yup. Oh, look! The little dog sitting by a puzzle. It's almost as if he wants us to solve it. Perhaps I will give it a try. A peculiar peaks. These five mountains are very unusual shapes. Can you interrupt their shapes to line them up in the right order? Slide the mountains to move them and place them in the frame below. Okay.
Um, I don't remember what the rule is regarding shadows. If you have it uh, towards the front, is it a bigger shadow? Or if you have it towards the back, it's a bigger shadow? I think if it's towards the front, right? The shadow would be bigger. So it should be like this, right? Uh, the only question is if I need to replace these two for another. Should be that time. Yeah, let's slide out. So, in conclusion, okay, no, I think right I might have gotten the the concept wrong. Try to think of what the shape of the mountain are representing. Wait, are they representing something? Huh? I, I just thought I'm supposed to do it by, based on the shadows. A, B, C, D, and E. So, in conclusion, mm, okay. that's a relief. Sure. You did it. The mountains were in the shape of the first five letters of the alphabet. They are shaped as if the letters have been colored in. Lining them up in reverse alphabet alphabetical order would also be correct. Okay, cool. Phew, I did it. Yup, yup. I hope that means you are happy. If only I could speak to dogs. I mean, you can speak to the other dog. Where is the other cousin? There should be another puzzle around here. Okay, there it is. There's that window over there. Looks a little odd to you, Ernest. Hmm, I don't know, does it? Gosh, you're right. There's a puzzle hiding on it. Alright, let's go. Light security 2. There's a mysterious thief after the treasure. Okay, this is the same concept as before. We need to follow basically the lines and cover both of the jewels. Okay. Ta ta ta. Ta ta ta. Ta ta ta. Okay. Okay, so if we start from here... It comes here... Okay, so we need to start from here, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, starting position would be this one. There we go. This is an interesting one. And that's how it's done. You did it. The security system has been successfully activated. Now, the thief can't get anywhere near. Ah, that's much better. 
Gosh, you poor magnificent solving that. I wish I was so clever. Haha, uh -huh. it's all about practice. Alright. Over here we have one puzzle and one coin. Uh, two puzzles, I mean. Two puzzles and one coin. Okay, that's one. Meow. Oh, it's the same cat again. It has got something. Look. Well, I never. It is a puzzle. Meow, meow, meow. I think it wants us to solve it. And it's my turn, I believe. Hanky stamp. Here we have five handkerchiefs. They all are the exact same shape, color and size. Using a round stamp, you need to mark the handkerchiefs so that they can all be told about. What is the fewest number of times you need to use the stamp? Using a round stamp, you need to mark the handkerchief so they can all be told apart. Okay. Uh, wanted before. Like one won't be stamped and the other ones will be stamped in like different locations. I've seen how to solve this now. What's the matter with me today? Hmm. Can I stamp several of them at the same time? Using ground stamping to mark the handkerchief so they can all be told about it. Okay, so we we just need to do it one time because I can do it with several of them at the same time. Mm, this should do it, I think. Yep. Any mystery or any puzzle solved. You did it. You only need to use the stamp once. You just need to line the handkerchiefs up so. They were each stamped with a different amount of stamp. So long as only one handkerchief is left unstamped, they can all be told about. Alright. They're all done. Is that better now, Puss? Meow. It sounds like no or ow, but the little chap seems happy enough. Alright, now where is the other puzzle and where is my coin? Okay, this is the other puzzle. They really are splendid flowers, don't you think? Yes, they are. And they smell so... Oh! Are you right? You didn't get stung on the nose by a bee, did you? Did you? Oh, no, no, no. I didn't get stung, I found the puzzle. Alright. Box of flowers. Uh, you need to make a six uh, uh, square. Okay. So I need to make a gift box. With different flowers. Okay. Obviously, we need to start here. I think that works. Yeah, that should work. This I think I, I did this puzzle. Okay, I think yeah, I think I need did this puzzle. I I had to replay the entire game. So I might have missed a few puzzles. Uh you did it. You made a gift box with a lovely floral pattern. Here you are, this is for you. I lost uh, my save by mistake, so I had to like uh, replay the entire thing. 
The puzzle was every bit as impressive as the flower that it came from. Are you right, Ernest? You seem miles away. Oh, and um, yes, I, I mean, no. I was just captivated by... I mean, never mind. Alright, so now where is my coin? Okay, there we go. Two coins. Two coins. Okay, let's spawn. That is. Alright. Over here we have three coins missing. Okay, one more. And the box apparently. Okay, there we go. Oh, actually, let's take the bike. Alright, so over here we have one puzzle. Not for me, apparently. Okay, there we go. Uh -huh. Here I am in such a pickle, but the world keeps turning, the clock keeps ticking, no one cares. Goodness, can you imagine if the clock in the Elizabeth Tower stopped? What a way, thing what a way for things to go. So, you are right, of course. There are bigger problems facing the world. I'm just rather in the doldrums at the moment. Well, that's hardly surprising. How about a puzzle to cheer you up? Alright, let's go. Let's go. It adds up to nothing. The professor has set the tricky problems. Question 3, question 25, question plus 1. Apparently makes 0. Can you figure out which numbers Go in the three blank spaces. Touch each answer to input a number. Um. Can I put symbols? No. So only numbers. Only numbers. And they are supposed to make a zero. Um, I think I did this one last time. 
I think the answer was also budget last time. So it's probably budget again. Uh, what was it last time? Something, something, something plus one. Um. Oh, I think I remember. Okay, I think I remember. So it's 23, 59, and 59. It's basically a clock. If you'll entertain my idea here. Yep. Thank goodness I okay, got yeah, it's the same thing as last time. I did, I, did, I did answer that. You did it. These numbers are displaying time in hours, minutes, and seconds. One more second until tomorrow. Yep. That was very impressive. It was a tricky puzzle. Yes, it was. Oh, thank you. I actually do feel a little better now. I've, uh, you are really very kind, Miss Layton. I think this is like one of the puzzles I had to look up. Because I found it to be such a bullshit. Okay, so we are missing one coin here. There we go. Uh, I think that's all of them. Yep, that all, was all of them. Okay. Over here, we are missing three coins and two puzzles. This one. No, I didn't mean to look at that. I just want to find a coin. Where's that final coin? I know it's not that. Something popped up.
There it is. Alright, so 12 coins and nothing else. I'm missing something. Oh, there it is. All right, got my coins. One puzzle. All right, is it you? Yes, it is you. Ah, Miss Layton, a curious note arrived at uh, the residence of Miss White, or Wit. A most stubborn note, for it contained a puzzle. Would you be so kind as to solve it? I will indeed. Enveloped in mystery. In searching the house of a man under suspicion of being a spy, an envelope is discovered in the letterbox. To view the contents without opening the envelope, a light is shown through and some sort of code is revealed. What could it possibly say? Oh, what? One of them looks like a D. One of them looks like an E, and one of them looks like a C. Does it say? I'm not sure. Something that looks like a C, something that looks like an E, and something that looks like a D. But which way am I supposed to look at it? Um, hmm.
Am I... Am I missing something? Like, usually it's like a... A mirror thing or some other bullshit, but... I feel like I'm missing something. What if I mirror it rather than not mirror it? Okay, I'm trying to figure out where to split it, but maybe I need to mirror that? No, but then it doesn't make sense. Um... Supposed to look at that. What if I do mirror it? Uh, hold on, I need, I need to do to use my memo. Okay, so if we have this, we have a B. This is a messed up looking B, but this is a B. I don't know what this one is supposed to be. This one would be an E. So we have B and E. Bye. But but how does the middle one? Oh, the middle one doesn't look like a bye. Is there any other word I can use with B at the beginning and E at the end? Don't think so. And mirroring that. Well, makes sense. Uh, what? <laughs> How does that make sense? I wonder... Is there is... Okay, hold on. So usually... Usually in letters... The letter will be folded, right? If the letter is folded... God, B and E we line up exactly in front of each other but the Y won't be lined up right so I think this part is over here then this one this one goes away 
and then it says bye. What? Come on. Come on, man. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. The real struggle is drawing the letters. That's where the real struggle exists. Okay. How did that become an eye? Oh my god, please, man. Please, man, give me my E. Not an F. E. E? Okay, E, e works like that. Alright. This is an interesting one. And that's how it's done. Alright. You did it. Bye. The paper inside was folded in half. So the top and the bottom of the letter were on top of each other. It was a message from that man that was surprised in half. Uh-huh. Alright, cool. A killer performance, madame. Most heartwarming. It is my belief that one of Miss White's occulate loving acquaintances is responsible for delivering this note to the residents. Uh, do they have anything else here? There seems to be something in here. One coin. Okay, there it is. Okay, what about the other location? I'm missing one puzzle and one coin. Alright. Okay, this is probably the puzzle. So where is the coin? Is. All right. Eh, this is just the end. I've been trying to crack this puzzle since our ma'am gave us a break this morning. In plain sight. You're out on the plane. Suddenly you've noticed you're surrounded by three lions. They have already have their eyes on you. However, some, for some reason, they won't take you for two more. Okay, this is the same rules as last time. Uh, don't take if you're two of them or more are at the same distance. Okay. So I have to make sure I'm keeping the same distance. Okay, but this won't be the same distance. That would be one. Oh, 
Okay. Uh. Okay. If I go here, it's too away. If I go here, too away. If I go here, I'm right next to it, so I will be dead. That will be too close. I could go all the way to the wall, huh? which then will put this one a distance of two, or this one of distance of like one, two, three. Yeah, both options can suck. Um, this is one, two. Yeah, this is one, two. Um, They won't take if two or more of them are at the same distance. Which I assume the other lions are also counted into this distance, right? So this will be too far too apart for me. Well this one will be one, two, three, four about. One, two, three. Oh, so theoretically that should work. Um, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe? Okay, now this one, yeah. Mm, this should do it, I think. Oh, that's not like me. Okay, so we can't... Uh, we don't need to worry about all the three lines at once. Start carefully. Okay. So apparently this one was incorrect. Uh, but up to there it was correct. This one is one apart, but this one. One, two, three. One, two, three. Why was this one in court then? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm not wrong about the count. One, two, three, one, two, three. Like I'm one away from him, from this lion, but I'm three away from this guy and I'm three away from this guy. So they should be with equal distance, aren't Oh, 
Okay. What if I go out of the wall? Okay, so right now it's three and three. And three. If I go down one, it becomes four, four, and two. Which is part of the problem. I don't know why... Hmm. One, two... One, two... One about... Two about... A bunch of about... So this one definitely doesn't work... One about, one about. Man, I can just do that stuff again. Um, this doesn't matter. Okay. Um. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I must have miscounted earlier. Because all the other options don't really make sense. But then just going straight down should work, right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two. Yeah, I don't think it will work. Yeah. I've seen how to solve this now. Not good, Catriel, not good. I'm pretty sure that as long as the shortest route is equal, then it's fine. The longer route is the, the, the tricky one. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that the shortest route is always identical. So right now it's one step, one step, one step. Two step, two step, two step. The problem is if I do that, that's one step. So that's not good. Then over there, it's two step, four step, four step. This is two step, two step. One step and then. I'm dead. Hmm? One step, one step, one step, three step. Hmm. What am I missing here?
I'm not sure. Because no matter what I do, the distance is never equal with uh, the two that are close to me. Like, there will be equal distance with the other guys, but not with the lower guy. Like, right now, all of the distance is equal. Once I do that, this becomes a two. Must be something I can do. Here. One about, then I'm dead again. Two apart, two apart, two apart, two apart. Well, three apart earlier, but now two apart. And now if I move in... It's one apart, so I'm dead again. Ah, I have to beat this one, I just need to figure out what to do with it, I think. I died when I just did this one. So this is definitely not where I need to be. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, no matter which position I go from, they all kind of suck. They all kind of suck. But let's try something. What happens if I do something like this? this Wait, is why? An interesting one. Puzzles are made for solving. Why did this one walk? Huh? You did it yourself now, what a relief. The lizard's blood ran cold there for a moment, too. I, I don't get this one. Ahaha, uh -huh, now that's impressive. You've got a pretty good head on your shoulders there, eh? Well, thank you. I've always found puzzles come naturally to me. He's not a bad pup, but he really looks like a ruffian, doesn't he? He does indeed. Uh. Alright, well we are done here, I just... I, I don't entirely get why... It worked this time. Like, the distance was still... Literally zero to one of them. But it still worked, so... I feel like I'm not entirely... Sure what the rules are, I guess. When it comes to this puzzle. Anyway, we have uh, three puzzles here and six coins. Let's see if we can find them. All right. Okay, over there we have two puzzles and one coin. Let's click all of that real quick. Ok, 
Okay, this gave us only one coin. Okay, so we can still click uh, the letters and stuff. I will do that. Please skip. Please skip. No, let me out. Come on, man. No. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I spam too much. Ah. The pain. Nothing? Really? Maybe it's like over there. No. Absolutely nothing. Oh. Interesting. There we go. Ah, I've sniffed out a puzzle. Here, look. Spaniels, nut and bolts. By the look of all of these tools and bits of hardware lying around, someone has been making something here. Magnet magic. This huge robot is in a need of model law. Use the available magnets and join them together to make one circuit. The north pole of each magnet is red and the south pole is blue. If the poles are opposite, they will join. But if they are the same, they will repel. Slide the magnets from left hand side on the left hand side to place them in the frame and make a circuit touch magnets to rotate them All right. I've seen how to solve this now. Any mystery or any puzzle solved. Nice. You did it. The magnetic circuit is complete. 
Oh, looks like those magnets may be a little too powerful. All right, nice. Well, that's one mystery confined to history, but the mystery of who has been walking in this room remains very much pertinent and unsolved. No time to be yapping then. On with the investigation. All right, the other puzzle is this one. I don't know where the coin is. Meow. Whoops. Sorry, taking a cat nap for you. I don't know why you cats can't just call it a nap like the rest of us. An unoccupied palace is like heaven on hell for a cat. So. And you have found the puzzle while you have been exploring the place, have you? You clever cat. Alright, let's see what we have here. Dragon question. These animals all have got together and counted up the number of something in their names. The frog at one. The beard at four. The rabbit at five. How many did the dragons have? The frog had one. The beard had four. And the rabbit had five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. One, two, three, four. I assume it's something about the letters. So with the frog we have the R. With the build we have the B, the I and the R. Well, the beard has four, so with the beard it's all the letters. I'm not entirely sure what the rules are, but all of these. So over here we have the R, the B and I, and one more letter. Now the question is what the rules are. I can draw all of them in one stroke. Except the A and T. The A and T. Um. Yeah, the A and T won't be one stroke, really. It's the only different so far. But if we follow the same letters from before, B, D, R, and that's it. What other rules are the beard for the red beat? Red beat. Syllables, maybe? Beard. Now, beard only have three syllables. Beard. Frog. Yeah, no, I don't think it's the syllables. 
Uh, what other reasons can there be? Hmm. What is the number? What is the dragon number? Is the question. What is the dragon's number? Something with the fog, everyone for something in the beard, every four off, something the rabbit, every five off. They didn't have to put the letters, so I'm pretty sure it's something to do with the letters. I just don't know what rules it follows, I guess. Pretty sure it's the one stroke, but. Yeah, but then G, G can, G is also one star. So that makes sense for it to be one star. Hmm. What else can it be? Sure, it's about the letters. A frog have four letters, a bill have four letters. A rabbit have six letters. Diagonal six letters. No, it's not a lot number logic because both the beard and the fog have the same number of letters, right? So it's not a number logic. Uh Is going to be. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Is it holes? No, but then all will be counted, right? Is there? Um, let's clear that. Okay, so it's not specific letters, I think. It's not specific letters. Over here, we have two letters with circles in them. Letters with circles in them. Um, it's not the number of lines, it's not the strokes, it's not the syllables. Is it the shape in the letters? So the cover I have one D over there we have one two three and four one two three Four, five, one, 
two. Okay, that seems a bit more logical, but I mean, it's the same answer as before, right? Because... Before I did the... Uh, this is one. This is all of the letters. So B, R, A, R, D. Then I separated it into the letters that I repeated earlier, so these ones. Also the I. I was missing only one letter here to make sense of it, but... According to the previous logic, it would be DNR also. Maybe it is about the stroke. Maybe I can do it in one stroke, maybe I don't know how to, to write an A in one stroke, but maybe it's possible. No, but then it will include A. Hmm. Okay, let's, let's try it. No, let's just, let's just try it. It's either two or three. Because if you follow the, the simple logic, it will be two. If you follow the stroke logic, it can be either two or three. So, two chances for it to be two. So, let's try it out. Something. I've seen how to solve this now. And that's how okay. it's done. You did it. They were counting the number of these shapes in their names. There is one D shape in the letter R and two in the letter B. Okay, so it was about uh, the D's. Alright. Meow meow. I won't tell you if you've seen who has been coming and going around here recently. I wonder if only cats were... I wonder if only cats were clever enough to talk, but they are not. That's food. Okay, so we're missing one coin. Where is my last coin? Where is my last coin? I already tried the letters, I'm not touching the letters again. Must be like something on the floor or something, right? No, no action whatsoever. Um, It might be in the zoom in, so I'm not going to go in the um, take another look. I think it was the letters. Nah. Let's click on it. Let's, uh, let's see, maybe I missed it. Uh, no, that's the same st stuff as before. Maybe I missed it here. Maybe 
I missed it somewhere around there. Not the case, unfortunately. Oh. Oh. Okay, there we go. Man, sometimes the coins are such a pain in the ass. Uh, one puzzle, one coin. Okay. Okay, this is the puzzle. So, where is the coin? All right. All right. Meow. Hello, little puss. Did you lose at the, the puzzle party too? This cat doesn't look crazy enough to accept an invitation to a mysterious party hosted by someone she doesn't know. Oh, and look, the puss has a puzzle. Shape shenanigans. The picture shows that the shapes on the left turn into the shapes on the right. Okay, using the same method. Would the bottom shape turn? What would the, the, the bottom shape turn into? Choose one of the following. That's look like top view and side view, right? It looks like A. Kinda. Well, yeah, it looks a bit like A. You can make it with an A. I mean, yeah. It definitely not B. I do not believe it's a... It could be CD. Um... It's better to say that we took it and fold it down all right. It's basically if you cut it in the middle and then fold it down the road. So... None of them... matches what I need. If it goes uh, the same manner as the other ones. Let's rule out the ones I don't think it is. So I don't think it's F. B. No, B will have to have a thing in the middle, so it's not B. D will have to have two of them. So I don't think it's D. Okay, which puts us with these guys. Alright. Um, it could be C, maybe if you flip it. But... Again, part of the problem is that I, the way that I imagine this uh, shape ending up, it will be like something like that is the square. And then the triangle should be, if, if we follow the, the other one, then it should be, like we start up, lift it, uh, lift it straight. 
So it should be just like a triangle attached to the corner. <laughs> like the the pointer like this. Oh, I don't have space to do that. Okay. So okay, the world I imagine is like something like this. And then uh, something like this. That's why it doesn't really make sense to me. But that's why I'm struggling imagining it as, uh, as these other fellows. But it's definitely not the ones that I already mount. So just need to figure out how this makes sense. Um, hmm. Okay. I think it might be C. The C, the only one is kind of looks the part, I guess. Maybe. I mean, A seems like the obvious, like, we took it from there and flipped it over, but like, C might be possible, I guess. Maybe. I eat puzzles like this for breakfast. Okay. They don't call me Sherlock Holmes for nothing. You did it. If you opened up the shapes that have been folded in half, they turn into the shape on the right hand side. Imagining the shape as pieces of paper helps. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of what I imagine. So yeah, that makes sense. Okay, cool. Yeah. Hope we didn't scare you, Puss. Anyway, we will leave you alone now. Well. Alright, do we have any other stuff left? We do, okay. I'm missing one coin. Missing one coin. I'm missing one coin? Yeah, one coin. One missing coin. Apparently we can zoom on this guy. What a huge portrait. Who is the old man? Ah yes, I've seen that face before in the papers. This is Maximilian Richmond, the multi-millionaire owner of this palace who passed away 10 years ago. The master of the house, eh? That's right. And when he died, his enormous fortune simply disappeared. There were rumors that he hid somewhere, he hid it somewhere when he knew he was going to die. And now it seems that someone has uncovered it. Who is this Lord Adams? Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't think it's all over there. That's not what I meant to pass on. Double gun. And one more coin. Okay, so where is this last coin? There we go. So that should be all the coins, I believe. Let's uh, take a look. Yep, there we go. Everything is fully done. Nice. Okay, so now we have like the mini games and then the extra puzzles and all of that. Alright, however, I believe I should do these ones next time, since I've been going for almost 8 hours now, which is a bit long. A little bit long for me. So let us uh, wrap it up. Alright, so thank you all for watching, thank you for hanging out, and thank you for keeping company. But that shall be it for today. And per usual, if you liked uh, what you've seen here, make sure to follow if you're on Twitch. And if you are watching this uh, world anywhere else that I may have uploaded into, make sure to follow, subscribe, or whatever it's called over there. But as far as today, there should be it. So thank you. And bye-bye. Uh,